It's going good, my dude. It's going absolutely fantastic. <laughs> we are here. Frosty Faustings 2023. It's going to be back here. Uh, we've got some amazing Gundam action. We've got basically the Gundam bracket for you guys. Not even top eight. We just got a ton of matches. Uh, so I'm Brad. I'm joined here by the man, the red muffler. Man, how's it going, dude? Oh, it's been going good. It's <laughs> been going absolutely fantastic. We t I touched down like... Oh, God, like 11 today after yeah. leaving at like 6 a.m., uh -huh. and I have just been coasting the entire day. Yeah, it's a very exciting way to start off our weekend here at Frosty Fausting. Oh, so yeah. thanks again for you guys tuning in if you guys couldn't make it here in person. But uh, we got a great show for you here today. We've got a lot of matches, and we're going to play a lot of them on stream. So yeah. you know, if you're just looking for more Gundam action, I think you're in the right spot. <laughs> All right, and it looks like we're going to be hopping right into our first match. Yeah. Um, again, we're just going to be pounding through the bracket. <laughs> Uh, looks like here we've got Arrow Flow, Top Nap versus Ashamed and Rainbow Heaven. So this is a real match, I think. No, this is definitely a real match. This yeah. is definitely a real match. But uh, I think some of these players might be kind of new, so we'll, we'll see. Yeah, so I'm already seeing right here Destiny God. Looking like for the front, and then is this a button check? This might just be a button check. Maybe it's a button check? I saw walking, so I can never quite be sure. If it's just a new player, uh, if apparently it's a this is a real match. So it's a real match. Okay. Yeah, we're we're definitely testing out the waters here, but you know it's it's it is good to be able to kind of you know show people that it doesn't really matter if you're not super experienced. It's just always great to you know dip your hands into the game and uh, get some some offline competitive matches going. Yeah, and if there's one thing that I absolutely adore, is it's like this is a game you mostly only ever really get to play online. Even back yeah. in the day, there was no real land mode. So, like, being able to sit down with a land mode and play this game offline is just, it's such well, a silky smooth experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, we're, we're bringing it back to the arcade era. It's, um, but yeah, so I, I think it's teams on the left and the right. So I think this is uh, a God Dynamas versus uh, Destiny Strike Noir. All right, all right. So it's like, you're just kind of running at each other in this kind of match. Like, Destiny and uh, God, <laughs> you're, you're seeing a lot of aggression. You're going to be seeing a lot of aggression. The onus is going to be on God to kind of make their way in. And with, yeah. a with, with a Dynamis back, they can definitely have someone to kind of cover from there. But, you know, it's a sniper suit. So a lot of the aggression is going to be on God to really make those big plays. And it's really hard to get in on a suit like Destiny that has such good self-defense options. Yeah. And also, you know... Dude, Dunamis here, I think, Ooh. is a pretty inexperienced player, so it's a little bit of a one-sided match here. It uh, does look like it's it's a little difficult for our god partner. He's got, gotten overcosted. Yeah, yeah, we're already so, overcosted. And yeah. Dynamis, the type of suit where he's a sniper yeah. suit, and if, if you take off that shield that he has, his self-defense is a little hit and miss at points. Yeah, god uh, 80 HP here. Could just be over. Oh! Oh! All right, he gets the Oki, but yeah. just F burst AB. La actually landed a finger, which was really sick, but... Uh, it, it makes sense. I, mean, I, I think the Dynamis player was really new, so it, it is what it is. But uh, we move forward. Get some more matches, unless this was 3 out of 5, but I hope not, because we got a lot of matches to play out. 3, three out of 5 M bonds. some stairs. They're still sitting down, so maybe that first game was a button check, or... Maybe. Oh, no, they're like, that, that was it. Yeah, they're, they're, they're getting up. Okay, okay. This this might be that, that weird confusion. Was that 2 out of 3 or 3 out of 5? I'm not actually yeah, quite sure. Yeah. No, that was definitely like a... <laughs> It, that was definitely like a, is it over? <laughs> but yeah, okay. So that's that. That was the first game, but we've got plenty more. We got people sitting out in the stands. A lot of faces I recognize. Very happy to be back here. Oh, it's. I'm so happy to see a lot of the people here. Yeah. Like, th these are people I have not seen in like, for me, like two years. Yeah. Big shout out to production crew here at Matchstick Melee, by the way. We've got uh, multiple cameras going on, oh, showing off the setups see. here. Love the look. I was gonna, I was gonna showing see. off a lot of the side tournaments here at Frosty Faustings Day 1. Gotta love it. God, seeing this much production on just a side event, just yeah. it warms my heart. It really does. Yeah, it's, it's a great way to start off the weekend. It's like, I don't know a better way to start off my Frosty's trip than hopping off the plane, jumping straight into just being able to cover some great Gundam action. Oh, yeah. So that's White Beast and, uh, uh, I forget his partner's name. But uh, White Beast. I definitely at least recognize White Beast. Ribbon? <laughs> I believe. Oh, yeah, I think so. Pretty sure it's Captain Riven. Either that or I'm being racist. And it's a oh, it's Riven, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's Riven. It's Riven. It's like, it could I know be another white anywhere. ball guy, but, you know. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I have power in my hands again, oh, God. ladies and gentlemen. So I get to uh, I get to control the POVs 
uh, like we've done in the past. So for people who remember tuning in, last year it's, a, it's the same spiel. So I'm also our operator, which means if I mess something up, it's not the stream's fault, it's definitely my fault. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, uh, very excited to get some more action going here. So yeah, this is looking like it is going to be White Beast Riven versus Doc Krook 6. So some names I'm not familiar with, some names I am familiar with, but you know. No so I'm what, definitely familiar with White Beast and Riven, but I'm more familiar with them from things like Guilty Gear and other anime yeah, games. Yeah, White so Beast. Uh, I think I have seen him play this game before, and I think he. I forget. Um, like what scene he's a part of, but I, I, I recall that he has acquaintances that uh, also play Gundam as well. Oh um, yeah, so that, that scene is booming yeah. down there. You have so many people to play. But yeah, Gundam I mean, um, yeah, but White Beast, you know, see him a lot in uh, Guilty Gear and also in Undernight, uh, put in a lot of work. Uh, but I haven't actually seen him play personally in, in a bit, so it's nice to see him here on stage again. But players just getting ready. Yeah, just get, getting those hand warmers. Yep. See if I can. Uh... Oh, cool. Okay, I do have to aim it, but I got it. Yeah. So I'm not sure who we want to watch here, but you know, we'll. Well, I mean, if you're asking me, I'm I'm the biased guy. Yeah. I happen to like our boy with the sunglasses. Yeah. My, <laughs> I, I may or may not kin Meijin Kawaguchi. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I had to like pause because you know, there's a lot of characters that actually have sunglasses in this game, so I'm like, okay, yeah, I. Hot Scramble is here, but I was like, you know, what if there was like a, a sharp player in that set of floor? You know, there's a surprising amount of people who wear sunglasses and guns. It's definitely a strong game. Oh, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. You see a dude with a mask? Oh, no, that might be someone with villainous intent. Or a mother, I guess. <laughs> no, exactly, villainous or intent. Or a brother, or uh Yeah. Or a, or a, f or a mechanical father. That too. Oh my God! Shout yeah. out to F91. Are there any other like mask characters that aren't antagonistic other than like Prospera and Schwartz Bruder? Oh my gosh! Who is the mask character in Gundam Wing? Oh right, it's Zex. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, never mind. Yeah. I mean, you know, uh, I'm trying. I'm just trying to think if there's any Jamil. Jamil. Jamil is. Uh, yeah, Jamil's just like a good guy, bro. Which one's Jamil? Jamil from Gundam X. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's like not a bad guy at all. He's like a homie. He's like he's like the main character's dad. Whoa, whoa. All right. Oh, we're going in? Yeah, we're going in. And Hot Scramble Excelia against a 1.5 Goof Custom and Lupus Rex. Let's see if we can find the, uh, the Hot Scramble. There we go. <laughs> Flipping through the TV channels, trying to find that made-for-TV movie you love so much. Oh, big whiff. No punish? And we got some punishes here, right? Oh, yeah. here we go. So one thing about Hot Scramble, this suit, absolutely fantastic uh, at just controlling the neutral, being able to throw funnels for either huge space control, forcing people to use a lot of boost to move out of the way, or using those funnels to fastball, AC being a fantastic poke. Having relatively decent melee, good it's main, overall fantastic suit. Yeah, they are. They're uh, doing pretty well right here. I think their opponents are also kind of on the newer side. So we'll. I'll we'll pop in the E burst from Lupus. Oh Rex. yeah, we pop off. We try to pop off with the BC, but you know, tail self defense. You don't even have to command <laughs> it. It works on its own. It's Yo, the you closest. Burst? Yeah. It's it's the closest we're getting to like AI assist. Like you know, like <laughs> <laughs> Go my son, hold down the neutral. Yeah, it, I didn't finish uh I didn't actually finish IBO, but I feel like there's gotta be another character that uses like AI stuff that's that probably should have something that functions kinda like tail. Are funnels kind of AI? Um not technically not, right? Like I mean you're either controlling them with a psycho frame or I think the ones that aren't, like the, I guess they're technically AI, like you deploy them, but like, I don't really think they think for themselves. I, I mean, I think their targeting system, I don't know if you'd really call it AI, right? Yeah, because that's, that's what I'm wondering. What what are the fundamentals of funnels? So apparently, apparently uh, Cosmic Era Dragoons are AI. I didn't actually know that. Okay, that's kind of wild. But I, but I remember like when Kira deploys them, he like control, he like control clicks on everybody, right? So. I can't believe Kira Yamato supports AI art. SMH. Yeah. I think 
It would be funny to have more things. Oh, we got a suit swap up here. We got Epion and uh, GPO one. Oh, okay. Epion. Say, yeah, sorry, two, two. I'm like brain farting right now. Yeah. Yeah. Set, set up the nukes, two. right? Nukes. You nuke them and then you stab them. Where's the nukes? All right, let's go down so. I'm kind of triggered because I've been playing a lot of EX versus two, and uh, GPO two is actually like pretty good in that game. <laughs> Oh, you, oh, they didn't get the full Epion combo. That's so sad. Whenever you get a big drop like that with Epion, that's huge because you can count the amount of times that suit can get in on one hand depending on how well they're playing neutral. Yeah, we just kind of want to keep... Uh, oh, there's a nuke. I don't think it's going anywhere, but it is going to maybe box us out a little bit. Uh, yeah, it gives us... Oh! I think that nuke actually caught the hot scramble player by surprise there, Luffy. Yeah. We are doing really well yet again here. Not looking good for uh, our Epion team. Yeah, White Beast Riven, their HP lead is actually completely fantastic right now. The All Hot right. Scramble player has taken like one hit, so they can play with their HP value so hard. That's probably it, yeah. Yeah, that's just it. Didn't even get time to get the half burst in. Another round, I like the calm. <laughs> Yo, you gotta love the positivity. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so we are marching through the bracket. One, I, I hope we can maybe try and get a, a second setup going if possible, because we got a lot of matches to go through, guys. I'm just letting you guys know that, like, you guys are trying to watch this to the end. Uh, we're gonna be here for a bit. Yeah. So, so uh, settle in, so, get some snack. So I hope there aren't other games are trying to go on the stream tonight, because. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be here. We're we're just chilling. I mean, obviously. Uh, not a problem for us. We're just going to be vibing. Oh, yeah. Um, and, yeah, it's going to be good. This is a trip down memory lane for me, all things yeah, considered. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's definitely good to be back here. Frosty, definitely one of my favorite uh, majors. I'm yeah. here every year since uh, a while now. Yeah, I mean, run by Elvin Chow, he's, he's the GOAT. So, the absolute yeah, GOAT. He's actually the GOAT. That man has thrown so many 6-H's at me, I don't think I've blocked a single one. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it, it's good, it's good. We got a lot of other stuff throughout the weekend, so I hope that we're going to have Gundam casuals as well Like after this oh, is done. Yeah. So, you know, I'm here to gonna try and play some Gundam. And, you don't uh, get offline and bond very often. You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Maybe, uh, we'll see. Maybe we'll get, uh, you know, maybe we'll get that, that uh, cross boost port one day, you know? <laughs> you know, I never know. Could happen. Oh, give me that power. Give me that power. It's a pretty crazy game. Pretty I've crazy seen some game. stuff, and like I will tell you right now, very few video games stress me out. Like I watch Actress again, and that game stresses me out. Yeah, yeah. I watch like old Unib, and that stresses me out. <laughs> Cross Boost stresses me out yeah. when I look at that game. Not only from just like the the whack stuff people are doing, but also how bright that game is. Yeah. Yeah, y'all can uh, definitely check out the bracket there with the chat command. You can see for yourself where we are in the bracket. We are still kind of in winner's round one here. Uh, so we got a lot of matches to play through, but uh, a lot of familiar names in the bracket. So I you know, hope you guys are enjoying this uh, this kind of like taste of the Frosty Weekend. Oh, yeah. And I think that uh, once some of these match matches start winding down and we yeah. get a little deeper into the bracket, I think we have the potential to see some really, really solid end bond gameplay here. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Can wear glasses while playing cross boost. <laughs> uh, it's that game is that game is crazy. But I think uh, I think NA is gonna really like it. That's my conclusion after playing the game. Oh yeah, because everything very, I've seen about the game is very nutty. It's In very like uh, it's very do or die game. Yeah, yeah it's definitely a, it's a kill or be killed kind of game. You are making decisions. Freedom is funny. Like I was talking with Mayu about freedom when we were both in Japan and. It's pretty much like just I just it's just not worth attacking freedom basically. <laughs> it's, he's he's got too he's got too many ways to juke you. It's just like it's not worth it. And then like isn't Infinite Justice like super messed up as well? IJ is pretty strong, yeah. I, IJ is strong. Like that suit caught my eye like immediately with everything that that thing can do. Yeah. I mean, all basically like seed suits are really good, even after the adjustments. They did a lot of slapping of the wrist, like Justice. Justice is really, really good, and then they like nerfed him to still be really, really, really good. At first, I couldn't tell if that was a pop off or he, or he was just like stretching his back. All right, they look, they look excited. 
So this is this Kyo and G Shadow. Yeah, Kyo and G Shadow versus uh, Kojak and Wiseman. Oh, yeah. yo, yo. I might have a little bit of. Bias I think this might be the here. first time I've seen G Shadow in real life, actually. Same. Yeah, this. I is this the first time he's come out to to an offline event? I'm trying to think. I don't quite know. I don't know. I, if he I don't think Evo he was here at. I don't think he was at Evo, and I don't think he was here last year. New, f no. So Fukuno is not the pick. Everyone says that, but when you actually play Fukuno, like Fukuno is really good. But it's not an NA pick, actually, in my opinion. Because Isn't like too too patient of a suit. Uh no. So Fukunu is like a wall. He has some unga bunga, but Fukunu is at, just like really good at being hard to attack into. Right? Yeah. But like, uh, yeah, I don't know if actually NA players are gonna want to do that. Like, he, I think I think a lot of NA players are gonna enjoy more suits that have more like. Let me like smash this thing at like the edge of my red lock, and they'll probably hit them. Ah, yeah. Like I don't really play three thousand that much when I was in Japan, but even when I was playing Fukunu, like it's fine and good. But like, he just kind of does. He just kind of does the same stuff. Like, he's he is also kind of uh, the way that suit plays is kind of very meta based too. So if you're in like. If like you're playing Shuffle, for example, and you're playing Fukunu, it's actually not that strong of a pick, in my opinion. I, I think there's better suits to play for like Shuffle. If you're just trying to like, if you can't trust your partner or whatever, right? Yeah, it's one of those things where you have to rely on your partner to be able to have your back to cover certain things. It's like you his, can't coordinate well. It his, his quite work. in my opinion, his his ability to peel is kind of mid. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, because like he's really good when they're trying to slam their face into you, right? But if if that's not happening for one of many reasons, it's like. Uh, yeah. Yeah, also, but not giving me the mistakes, it's hard to force them with an apartment. Yeah, also, like, you're, it's easy to get overcosted playing that kind of suit. So, all right, here we go. So, who do we want to watch here? Oh, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of maybe feeling some Marasai here. Some Marasai? All right, let's see if I can find it. Because I do know one thing about Kyo is that his Marasai is uh, pretty nice. I can find it. There we go. There we I go. Got it. Oh, and immediately juking out the Strike Noir, getting some big damage. His Phantom good in cross boost? I don't know anything about that suit, like, in cross boost. I haven't seen it. I didn't see it a single time, so my assumptions, no. But yeah, um, Marasai, you know, if there was one thing that left an impression on me from uh, Climax, it was definitely Marasai. Marasai was, like, doing so much work at Climax, so. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, everything about this suit is just, like, it feels like hey, a complete package. Force the flippers. We're overheat, so probably game flash. Oh, yeah. huge Garo. Marasai's down. HP's a little lower than their partner. You're yeah, gonna probably see. We Kyo just need back one hit on Strike North. He's an anchor here, so it could be kind of finished off. I like the burst from Destiny. We're just chasing. Oh, still can't get it. Oh, there oh it is. God, yeah. they get that landing punish, expending the last of their boost. That was so nice. Legolas is sick. Yeah, I like what they did to Legolas. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of Legolas. Oh, so what did they do to Legolas in Crossbase? They buffed, like, uh, so they changed some of his subs. They do different stuff now. And they, they buffed, like, a lot of the things that he has in general. Like, they, they just kind of, like, tweaked a lot of stuff. He's pretty cool. He's, uh, they, cha they so they did a lot of rebalancing of the sub ammo. Ah. Yeah. So now when he gets the gamer fuel, he can do more than just chuck the funnels, essentially? Yeah, like, the the way you... Uh, let's, let's take a look at a different perspective, maybe. Let's take a look at Destiny, maybe. Yeah. Um, oops, not that one. Uh, <laughs> to... There, there we, we go. go. But, uh... But, yeah, like... Um, they, yeah, they, they rehauled the way Legolas' ammo works in crossbow, so... Like, it gives you a lot more options, I think, and it's just stronger overall. Yeah. Oh, man. Destiny already having taken a lot of damage early on. Really close to the first half, bo half burst. Yeah, I mean, we might get a block here. Oh, or get hit by our partner in burst. I like it. All right. I don't think that was intentional, but hey, that's pretty good. Yo, good evasion on the Garo there. Yeah. Punishes the Vernier. Whoa. Oh, it just gets dumped by the boomerangs. Oh, oh. It might have something here. Yeah. Oh, good confirm. Gonna probably get punished here. Yeah, unfortunate. All right, but uh, Marsai with the backup. Yeah. 
All right, we're seeing the S burst, but dies in burst. That's really big for them. Yeah, Marasai taking uh, things into his own hand. Cho goes to the palm. I don't think we're finding this, but oh, okay. oh my god! Yeah, okay, forces wreck. out the E burst. Gets the fastball from that. Might be able to kill him still here if uh, Marasai is on his tail. Nope. All right, Destiny has that half burst on death on deck, but they have to be real careful. They're like two hits away from death here potentially. It's actually winnable for the opponent's team. Legolas is very healthy here, and if this strike mark can live, oh, there's the burst. Oh, uses the S burst to force the Marasai landing. is very low here too, though. But yeah, what a spawn! Oh, here we go, the Call of Duty spawn! <gasps> oh my God! Oh, they missed the burning bonus! Legolas, oh my God! Oh, no, that that's not a good punish though, and we can see Legolas trying desperately to you know peel off of his partner. And there's the oh, bomb. the BC confirmed. That's so nice. Yeah, Legolas, unfortunately, I, I think that was a much better game overall. It was actually, you know, the first game was very one-sided. That second game, though, could have actually gone other way, but we just couldn't heal the Destiny. Yeah, Destiny just at that moment saw Strikenor bleeding after that Call of Duty spawn. Strikenor yeah. actually managing to get away, but then just could not get Destiny off of him. Yeah, it was, it, was, so it, was, it was not good that we couldn't really get a good down from uh, the melee combo off of, off of that spawn situation. So Destiny was able to kind of get up and keep chase. But yeah, it was, yeah. I, I think it, it could have actually gone pretty OK for like a super able to peel. But that spawn is very fortunate. That was some classic M1 spawn. Yeah, that was, that was like the most Call of Duty spawn I have seen in a while. Yeah, that was uh, right in the trenches you go. <laughs> pretty, yeah, Freedom is pretty good in cross boost. I feel like a lot of suits are pretty good though, so. Um, a lot of suits that do crazy stuff. Oh god, what about P Self? Is that suit still a menace? Yeah, so P Self is actually very similar. He only really got two kind of adjustments, but one of them is. Well, both of them are majors. So the, the one big thing is. Uh, P self can do pressure without entering the back. Yeah. So you always can try to do it. That's really useful oh, yeah. because there's no tell anymore, which makes sense. And the other big thing is the sub got way better. Yeah, like, isn't the correction on it like, massive? Yeah, the so sub in, like, sub in Ambon is a decent tool and it can sometimes catch step, you know, but you have to, like, the, the guidance on it is not the best, so you kind of need to line it up, right? Yeah. But in, in uh, in cross boost, the P self sub will sink. Like the vertical is much better. Yeah. So it, it will like sink down with you really well. So on top of the fact that like it just guides better in general, so it'll catch you laterally a lot more. So uh, it's just one of those moves. Like a lot of moves in cross boost, where like it like catch your step. It's pretty fast. If, if you're just you know falling down, you still have to actually kind of look for it. So. No, yeah, like, because uh, I've seen a little bit of gameplay of it. And just, like, the self-defense on that suit is just, like, I have seen people just go, like, peace off, peace off, and just, like, we're going to play this kind of like Reborns, where we're just going to not approach each other and kind of let our backs, like, fight. Like, you know that image of the Simpsons where it's the two monkeys fighting? Is yeah. It feels kind of like that, but with your backs. Yeah. Oh, and then does peace off have Omicron, too, I think, now? I think it does. I yeah. think it does with an assist, though I could be it's wrong. B I think it's BC main. I, I played it, but I already forgot, but yeah. I, play, I, I played a decent amount of peace off. Like, he's a little slow-paced, though, so when you're, like, trying to grind shuffle, it's, like, it's really nice, though, just, like, CSA, in my opinion, CSA, Redlock CSA is already really good in M1. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why people don't, like talk about it more honestly. Traffic codes uh, yeah. is such a good tool. Yeah, it's really good, but I guess like he's kind of overshadowed by other things maybe in this game, and I don't know. I, I think even in Mbon, P self is like pretty respectable suit, just because yeah, CSA is honestly really legit. No, it's, a, yeah. it's a really good threat. So uh, cross boost is really nice just because uh, it's really scary to go in in that game and being able to chill and you know send out CSAs in a game like cross boost is very good feel. All right, so next up here, uh, I think that's uh, Ganondorf Ooh. and Sonoshi versus Lemon, uh, Ketz Cam. And oh, and that yeah, is Le Lemon's getting hype. You can see Lem getting hype here. And that is a All full right. Saber? I'm already feeling this yeah, one. Yeah, we Mr. can watch Krabs. full Saber. I'm, I'm down, let's watch full Saber. So this is definitely one of my favorite suits in this game. Definitely like a very safe, uh, Pretty fundamental suit, I feel, in all things considered, but his sub is like such a powerful oh my, tool. Yeah. Oh my god. Rex full saber is a pretty funny matchup. I, I feel like actually sub fares pretty well versus uh, Rex. 
So, oh, we, we're ignoring though. Yeah, sub is just like the great equalizer in a lot of cases. Oh, and immediately Goof goes down. Yeah, full save are doing really well right here. Oh, oh, sub is back nice. online and gets yeah. the full confirm, gets the down mostly on Rex. Oh, uses the sub to stall and just eats the we machine. We have burst too, so custom. this is really good. It, we can probably hit Rex and burst here. Oh no! Ooh, does oh, get the counter burst. Maybe counter burst here. Oh no, he's oh avoids the tail. Oh, Let's go the green lock BC to move out of the way. Yeah, there's the burst. Oh, such good movement from the full saber player. Oh yeah, we quantize. Here. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, that was really clean. How would you rank the next stream suits from best to least best? Um, I think Explosion's good. I mean, they're all pretty good. I think the one I felt like didn't really have the, the biggest impression on me is actually like the 2K one with the giant Garabee. Um, that one, like, it's pretty much all it has. But the 1.5K uh, is actually really spooky. If it wasn't for the fact that it was 1.5k, it would actually maybe be the spookiest. That's like the ninja one, right? Yeah. So it throws a, it throws like grenade bomb things. Yeah. And they, they they're like really good actually. <laughs> like I played against that suit a lot, and I never really quite figured out how to not die to that. <laughs> that, suit, that suit looks so annoying. Yeah. It's like 1.5. Yeah. It's just uh, annoying because like he just runs straight in your face and tries to throw throw explosions in your face, and it's like yeah, you can engage him, but then you're like. You're potentially trading damage with the 1500. That feels pretty bad no matter what you're playing. So yeah, it feels like playing a 1.5 shadow almost. Yeah, just with I mean, everything he's throwing. Honestly, on screen. better. It's like those those the bombs are really good. Yeah, the stretch dive is exactly what I was saying. Yeah, like it's way easier to hit people with the carpet bombs than it is to hit them with like uh, sh uh, shadow CSA. Yeah. Oh, All it right, looks like we got a big change here. up. We got we X1 do. dog. Okay. okay, let's see if we can uh, maybe take a look at this X1 here. Uh, find the X1. Oh, uh, this one? There's there the we one. go. Yeah. My favorite pirate. Let's go. Is, it, is, this, is this a cross boost track? What, what is this track from? I think this is from Next, actually. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, like, I remember hearing this in, in, uh, in cross boost, but... I don't remember this in Mbot. Yeah, I think Kyo was talking about how on their setup, all of the tracks are from Next. Oh, that's cool. No, it's super cool. Does it mean it has that, like, like K-pop sounding one, too? I think so. Oh, this is vicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's a good track. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Lem and Ket are already down pretty hard here. All right, we're getting the full burst from X1, and that is definitely not how you want to start your F burst. Yeah. Oh, bad burn here, okay, but we got the, the nuke. nuke! I mean, it, it was like wheelchair start. Oh, okay. Oh. I mean, if they kill full saber here, they're in for a good spot. Dog has uh, you know, two more two more lives. Like, one more life after this one, basically. Yeah, so. as long as X1 can hold their HP, commentator's curse, never yeah. mind. I mean, we have, we have ABC Mantle coming back up. But yeah, they, they really need to kill for. Uh, oh my god, no, oh, that might no. be it. No kill. It looks like Burst might have eaten some inputs. Okay, they, they got the mantle back on. Scarrow just barely missing. They need to win this exchange here, otherwise it's over. Oh no. Yeah. That was so unfortunate. Seeing, yeah. seeing X1 go in right at the end, even with the mantle on, it was like. At that point, their partner was already dead. <laughs> so it's like, you should maybe be getting out of there, Chief. Wait, at least wait for your partner to come back. No, don't ever go in alone. Like that. Yeah, we'll say you're putting in a lot of work. For real. And that's definitely a hard matchup to, have, to go into with a melee suit in general. Yeah. Oh, I want to go in against Full Saber. I want to press melee. I think, Meet my uh, friend Sub. So that's all, all of the round one winner's side matches. So I'm not sure if we're going to take a look at like winner's round two, if we're looking at uh, the loser's bracket side. But uh, if you guys are just tuning in, this is day zero. Frosty Faustings here on Matchstick Melee. Hope you guys are enjoying some awesome Gundam M1 action. The, uh, the Frosty Fasting's Gaiden, if you would. Yes, yeah. <laughs> the side story. It's the, the origin. No, the prelude. Exactly. Yeah. No, it is, uh, it's great to be back here. And uh, big shouts to Frosty for letting us host this side tournament. Super cool stuff. You play Gundam again? Yeah, man. Gundam is... The nice thing about Gundam is it's always going to be there. You know, it's like 
The game's not going anywhere. Yeah, there's so. there's no servers to shut down really. As as long as there's like four PlayStation. As long as alive. it's still printing money in Japan, it's gonna be around. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Miss playing Epion. I I don't miss you playing Epion. <laughs> Get out of here. Epion is a suit. <laughs> don't don't hit me with that with that Mbon Zangief stuff. It's it's a suit. <laughs> it is it is definitely. It is definitely the grappler of mobile suits. We just want cross boost with servers and play versus Japanese players. Yeah, I mean, uh, it would be great if they just improved the netcode just a little bit. I think it's already quite good for North America, but it would be sweet if we could play with Japan. I think we, the level would definitely like improve greatly. I think, uh, yeah, still, still very far behind. Would you rather get double spallowed again? Uh, that that was a day. Just getting double sparrowed, BC'd over and over, and just being like, "Well, this is my life now." It's like I'm, it's like I'm back in GVS. Some things never change. I want a God finger, but yeah, like, uh, so God, yeah, God has like the double finger now, and the the finger is so much better. So wait, d double finger? Yeah, he can finger, he can finger into finger. Okay, that's that yeah. is dope. That is dope. He, he, it's like uh, Sanosuke from Kenshin. He's got the the title Kiwami. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's yeah. No, it's 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 good. He's pretty spooky. Yeah. Can I get a Feniche? Oh, yo, Feniche! Like yeah. in concept, that is like the coolest suit I've ever seen. Feniche was cool. Yeah, it was a little hard for me to use honestly when I was playing Feniche, when I was there. Like. Uh, his Garrow is a lot shorter than I thought it would be. So it's like, you have to be pretty close. You, you're like kind of in there. No, you're doing yeah. like drive-bys when you're playing that suit. Yeah, like, but it's you, like... You go into motorcycle MA mode, and then you're just like sweeping the Garrow. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's the... It's the cross boost tracks. This is kind of a bomb. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so CSB is really cursed now. The Melon... So the melon, it has it has shooting guard like the whole time. So he's just doing this at you and you like can't shoot him. It's it's really hilarious. What the heck? Yeah, it's it's really cursed actually. I, I definitely mean, fought somebody who just only used that the first time. I was like, what's going on? I was like, yeah, it has shooting guard the whole time. It's really messed up. It's like actually so messed up. I mean, you know, in the show they sell that move as being like this. It looks really silly, but it takes out an entire army. Yeah, it's kind of goofy. It's been goofy historically as a move, but like it's a legit move now. It's it's pretty it's pretty evil. Yeah. Honestly, let there be darkness. Let I, darkness reign. As yeah, far as Cross I'm is a pretty darkness game. Oh, I yo? think 3K Toggies is like actually kind of fair now after they nerfed him. Like I think he's good, but yeah. Yeah, man, Vicious' track pop. Like Vicious' track actually just slaps. <laughs> It's it's hella cool. I love this track. Yeah, speaking of darkness, here comes the bail. I love this suit, personally. Bail's cool. I think the melon can be countered. I believe so. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, we can watch the yeah. We can watch this bail POV. I I'm down for seeing some people go to Mars. Yeah, so this is Lem's team playing. Uh, th this is uh, Lem in losers versus Kojak and Wiseman. Yeah. <laughs> Kojak in France. <laughs> oh yo. Yeah. And there we're seeing the uh, AC from Bail trying to get in. One of the big weaknesses with this suit is he just has to make his way in in Bulldog. But once he does make his way in, he can, he just does massive damage, incredibly hard to cut combos. Yeah, it's not going so good for us right now, though. We did get, we're did we going to get overcosted, so. Ooh. All right, that's huge. That takes a partner yeah, out of the can, game. If we can get maybe another solid hit here. Okay. We have F at 98, so. Are they going to are they gonna risk it? Maybe this. Okay, oh, he, yeah. they're calling the bluff. Oh, the, oh, the almost, sub almost, to get through yeah. the shot. Did they die in burst? I don't. They did. Yeah. That was. Uh, we kind of exploded there. Yeah. A little bit. Oh. Yeah, that was. Uh, 
that was quite the explosion we got to see. Maybe we'll see another one. I don't know. But Bale was not really working very well in, in that previous game. <laughs> no, it's, it's really hard to bulldog your way in when the self I, I see them swap in. Yeah, maybe, maybe Bale not to play here. I like this shot. Beautiful. Yo, low angle shots are always the way to go to make something yeah. All right. Yeah. Song on. Some sets no. Red frame? Red frame? <laughs> oh. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, yo. I mean, this technically might work better just in terms of, of cost, so. Yeah. It's a little unorthodox so, for what they'd be playing into, but it I mean, can 20, work. Yeah, 20, 25 15. It's just what you see. Red Dragon. Let's see, let's see if we can do it with Red Dragon here. All right, using the Command Dash, trying to make their way in. And immediately down. It's so hard to make your way in through these funnels. It's hard to chase Legos like this because he does have a pretty good uh, free fall cancel. We're just going straight at things. And meanwhile, Lego is taking a beating in the back as well. The yeah. HP not looking good. Oh. We're going. We still can't make it. Oh my god. They have been so ready to defend themselves every single time. It's so hard to get in oh, no. against a comp like this. All right, full F first. But we need to do like 600 free damage to get back in this game. All right, flip burst out. That's going to take a ton of their momentum oh, already. No. Yeah. All right, Lego S first. Okay, everyone's getting hit. Oh, no. Oh, and that's the first hit Red Dragon's gotten, really, and it didn't really amount to much of anything. Yeah, it's not looking good. All right, S burst from Legolas, and that is all she wrote. Yeah, Legolas. <laughs> Smelling fear. Uh, going in, going to the finish. All right, GG is in the fist bumps. We're here for fist bumps and Kojak and Francie take it. So I think that means we might be looking at some more losing matches coming up next. Actually, no, I think we got to play Winner Friday. Right so I assume if we're going top to bump, it's going to be our way, J versus Sierra, put top down next, but we'll, we'll see. Oh, that's that's a matchup I'm excited yeah, to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Because, one, ROA, one of, actually, uh, from what I can tell, actually got introduced to the game because of me streaming it, actually. Oh, sweet. And he has grown as a player in such a way. Yeah, yeah. And I am so proud of that kid. Like, he's been putting in so much work, so much effort. Yeah. And it shows. Ever since he got that first win at Climax a couple years ago. Yes. He has been such a threat. Climax and, uh, 2021, maybe? Yeah, yeah, 2021, 2021. And, of course, we have J.U., my eternal bully. He <laughs> will never stop just <laughs> bullying me and uh, just uh, threatening me to play Resident Evil Outbreak with him all the time. He also has a pretty good GPO3. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, definitely a team to look out for in this, uh, in this bracket. So did like a lot of what we were seeing from uh, – well, I think what I'm – Looking at right now in the bracket is the Kyoji Shadow versus the Ganondorf Sonoshi match. I think that one's going to be really interesting. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, but it looks like it is going to first up be Arway Ju um, versus Aeroflow. Um, so yeah, this this match coming up next should be pretty interesting. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You guys just tuning in again? We got M on action. We're going like all the way through the bracket. We're playing all these matches. So we got still another like. 15 matches or something like that. So I hope 15 you guys 15 matches. Yeah. Every single match of the night for Gundam, Maxi Boost on for the Sony PlayStation 4 Computer Entertainment System will be televised. So definitely tune in. There's going to be some good stuff. All right. All right. What do we want to watch for this upcoming match here? I guess we can watch some ROA. We're talking about ROA. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And to my knowledge, I'm pretty sure ROA, once they get through with this button check, will likely be playing Destiny. Share your opinions on Bochi Life for the fans. I don't think I should do that. I, I don't think you should. <laughs> I don't want to make this channel lose lose followers, you know? <laughs> yeah. Just please my, don't. My, it will make opinions, me really sad. My opinions, uh... <laughs> I, yeah, I'm sorry, but I think it's mid. Bochi is all right. <laughs> I found it to be an entertaining show. Like, if it was on, I like I watched it. I finished it. 
Am I gonna really remember anything other than the godlike music in like five years? Probably not. See, yeah, I just no have soul. this huge nostalgia for Asian Kung Fu Generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I like the vibes of the show. I like yeah. the vibes of the show. I like the music a lot. I'm all, so I, we said we weren't going to say that, but when the streamer is asking me directly, I'm going to answer, okay? <laughs> so, you know, it's it's not on me. There's about to be some blood on the stream. I feel yeah. like I got to get out of here. I feel I, like there's about to be yeah. a fight. Like, I gave it a solid 7 out of 10. It's a very 7 out of 10 show, in my opinion, you know, like... Within the context of anime, and seasonal anime in particular, like, yeah. I know me personally, I'd probably give it, like, like an 8.5. Yeah, yeah, I mean. But, I, but that's just because I look at Bochi and I'm like, wow, she just like me for real, for real. So I have a question. If you feel that way, don't you feel, do you not feel, like, upset about the fact that they're, like, portraying those kind of characteristics in, like, a characteristic, like, gag-style manner, like, rather than, Treating it with like the seriousness it kind of deserves. Oh gosh, this might have to be something we have to hold off on for that's now. That's like that's a big part of why I kind of don't really drive with the show. I ha I do have an opinion on that, and I will get to that after this match, I think. So I will hold that thought for now. Hold up, we're I'm gonna get this. Yo, we got this. We're. What, what are we? Who are we looking for? There. Uh, I think we're looking for. Like Penelope. Wait, Aroway is playing Penelope. Wait. Oh no. Uh, hold on. I, I might be tripping. He's probably playing Destiny here. Oh, hold on, I'm just gonna do. No, no, no. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. yeah Aroway's playing Penelope. Yeah, he's playing Penelope. I'm not tripping, bro. Okay. Yo, 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 yo. Okay. This is this is like a villain art. Right he's here. on his own PS4 too. But yeah, he's he's playing Penelope. On his own PS4, playing the villain suit. For those that don't know, this suit, this oh. is the neutral. I think it's a, it is an interesting conversation starter, though, the series. Or at least if, if someone has a, like, dissenting opinion about the show. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, so we're seeing Destiny immediately pop S first. Oh, my God. Our way is just playing so clean right now. They're just dancing around Destiny. This S burst doesn't mean anything. And they just get the full landing on it. I think they might get, oh, okay, never mind. I mean, we have no real need to go in here, so it's basically over. <laughs> no, yeah, at but... this point, ROA and JU can just chill in the back, wait for their burst to come up, and just put up walls. All right, so. All right, they're using the S first, trying to chase Play down the Odysseus. Here, yeah. We have another flip, yep. Oh, and that is it. That was such clean neutral from the side of ROA and JU. They were just playing that super slow. They were playing the most textbook m -bon you could. Yeah, it's really good for punishing. Like, if Destiny's going to play recklessly and just try and force the Ray in, it's pretty difficult against this kind of team. Yeah, exactly. Because it's like, you can Wings of Light, and, you know, you can cut tracking, and that's cool. But I'm just going to put up this wall of missiles. What are you going to do? Run into yeah. me? So, maybe check out the, the GPO3 POV here. See what we're, we got going on for JU. Oh, yeah. Speaking of the neutral itself. I really like GPO3 in uh, Crosskiss, by the way. He's really fun. Oh, what did they change about him? He has a CSV that's like a whole nother pre fall. So he has like a Kushi style CSV. Oh wait, so he has multiple free yeah. balls now? Yeah, so you hold down both buttons now. So you have, it's really interesting. Oh my god, that's three free, that is insane. Yeah, so you can do CSA step CSV main. That's nutty. Yeah. So you have three different ways now to free fall. All right, so I was about to say JU was actually up a little bit on health, but it looks like ROA just got hit. So JU just chilling right at the edge of red lock. Not taking really any chances. Oh, gets a big punish, but then gets punished himself. Oh, there. he didn't get uh, time to like step that melee, I think. Jeyu. All right, Destiny is popping S burst. Jeyu trying to make her oh. way in on the strike door and just gets melee for their troubles. Okay. Oh, anchors away. Interesting. Oh. Oh, and just gets duffed by the CSA after the anchor? That was a bit of a weird move. I'm, I'm surprised there. that Strike Noir didn't uh, try and go for some kind of Oki. 
I think that situation is pretty okay for, for Noir. I think they might have been afraid at that landing because they landed in a bit of an awkward position and they didn't have a lot of boost, I think. Yeah, well, he landed, so... But yeah. And boom. Once again, super clean from JU and ROA. I don't think they even took a single down. Yeah. Very clean, definitely like we're saying, that one of the teams to, to look for. So, I think we are probably just going uh, down the bracket here. Which means next up, I think we're going to have uh, White Beast and Riven versus Witch Hazel and uh, Thorn. Thorn. Thorn the Letter. Thorn the Letter. Or it's either Thorn the Letter or it's Thorn Theleter. So, you tell me. Both of them sound like really cool fantasy names, if I'm being That's real. like someone, so like, my Twitch is the Brett, right? And like, yeah. I think someone like once thought it was just like, like, the Brett, like some kind of like German name or something. Like, they were like, oh, they're like, oh this is like cool. And it's like, no, it's, dude, it's my name with T-H-E in front of it, yeah. But so I as a streamer cooler. myself, I have definitely run into that mix-up before of reading someone's name when they hit follow. And I'm like, oh, like what's your name but saying it really fancifully yeah. thank you for the follow and they're like dude my name's just Jeff. yeah my name's yeah my name is like mary bob and you're like mariba <laughs> yeah exactly exactly reading is hard yeah, when you reading, are streaming hard, you yeah. you dock like 10 iq points instantaneously the moment you hit go live like my name i mean that writer writer i mean i back when writer first followed i called him raider and i'm just like I, I, i'm i am I'm used to like Japanese pronunciation, so I see like Ray is an Evangelion, and I'm like, yeah, you know, that makes sense. Raider. But it's Ryder, and I'm like, what? Learn your Romaji, people. It's tough. Language is tough, man. Linguistics but, uh, is a blow up. I see our players getting ready for our next match here. It's a good one. All right. We vibing. This is actually a bop. I love this. Yeah, you, yeah, it's. I definitely do like setting the the soundtracks to the cross boost tracks. It's pretty sick. Someone's after my heart. I am seeing the Sananju. As you can tell, with all of the suits that I play, I'm very basic. If you have a simple neutral sequence, I probably like you a lot, especially if you're bright red. Uh, so we are actually not doing the white beast match. It's uh, shadow, it's shadow wizard money gang, and Mao Zedong. So I know there was a talk on who who is shadow wizard money gang, <laughs> and I legitimately do not know. <laughs> um, and versus Kid and Chris Bardo. Oh, I do know Chris Bardell. I'm recovering from... <laughs> I'm recovering from Mao Zedong. <laughs> I, I felt like I got punked in real life. Yeah. <laughs> I see heavy arms. Yo, heavy arms? Heavy arms X1? No, this isn't... No, no there's this isn't no way. Real? Everyone is doing their button checks. This is this is simple psychological warfare. If not on the players, then on the commentators. No, this is not real, right? There's there's no way. If I, seeing a heavy arms Kai in tournament would actually be nutty. No. Uh, let's 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 not talk about double 1.5k comps. Those comps are always cursed. I, I've seen enough duel oh, academy. Oh, this is real, I think. Oh my god. No, this can't be real. There's no way. I refuse to accept it. No, this is not real. We're switching off of this heavy arms, right? No. No. They're no, going no, in. No. 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 They're going in. This is the comp. Oh my god. This is the comp. All right. 
All right, who is this playing? Hold up. So, Heavy Arms is, is a Sh Shadow Wizard Money Gang the, the legendary Heavy Arms player? Is that so what this is? All right, we need to see this. We need to see this. I, I, I'll find it. Hold up. He switched to single perspective here. Where is he? All right. Yeah, we go. Troll Barton himself. Let's I'm go. I'm going ahead. Ah! I'm rushing in. He's rushing in. <laughs> Yo, we got machine guns, we got missiles, we got Disney on ice. Let's go. Oh, we did. We Oh, oh my oh god. My god. Oh my Yo, god. Yo, the Greylock Sandrock. Yo, the 360 no scope Sandrock. Oh my god. Yo, Sandrock looking kind of thick right now. Oh my god. I, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Sanandu is just ignoring heavy arms. Oh my god, that's the missile's hitting right. Oh my god. Oh no, 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 no. That's that's the thing oh about heavy god. arms. It's so hard to push the damage. Uh, I, I, no. Can't watch this. Oh my god, we're, they we're are helping. technically we're, we're the helping. Lead, we're, we're helping, we're helping, we're helping, we're helping. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, they're oh just, my god. Back, they're just I know I'm literally only saying oh my god, but I can't handle this right now. This is <laughs> I don't know what we're watching, but it's very special. Oh my god, I just realized this is Esper's heavy arms. <laughs> it's e this is so cursed. <laughs> we... Okay, we have our main back. Oh, here we yeah, go. Go, 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 go. I don't know what we do here. It's... Oh, my God. Yeah, we are. We... <laughs> what is happening? The other guy with the respect super. Oh, my God. This, the sand rock again blocking the shot. This is incredible. They're, they're going to win like this. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my, my God. God. And the Sanazu. <laughs> I don't even know if that shot was aimed for the Sinatsu! <laughs> I'm, 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 oh my god! I'm somewhat speechless. Video yeah. games are a wonderful thing. That was very powerful. I, I love video games so his, much. His aura is too strong for me. Oh my god. Uh, I think we need to change the channel because this, this, that was too much. That's too much for me. I'm yeah, only I, think, I think we have peak here. I'm only allowed right, two doses of heavy arms a day. It's doctor's orders. All right, let's watch this uh, Shinandu for a bit here. Try to bring us back to reality here. Yeah, let's, let's play some good old-fashioned neutral. Yeah, we definitely watched, like, some fever dream just now. Hi. All right. <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> Just seeing the machine gun volley from the heavy arms, even when you're not the main focus of it. Seeing it from the third person perspective is equally entertaining. <laughs> it's so terrifying. Okay, Tiny seals are heavy up. Arms, like, just moving in a straight line, pressing A and B. Uh -oh. uh, nothing for the Angelo assist. Bazookas are on deck. Wow. Oh, no, actually just goes for a melee confirm. Gets shot out of it, but deals a butt ton of damage. Like overheat again. Wow. All right, X1 actually looking on their last legs here. Nice. Chris Pardo and Keto already sitting in a much better position than they were in the last set. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, they're, they're, they're doing much better here. Yeah, they're taking it nice and slow this time. You don't want to let heavy arms catch a lot of momentum. Either. Oh, but they're not doing the side BCs, and that's actually making Sinanju a little bit easier to hit. There nice. we go. Clear the mantle and can't get the down, but oh! Ooh. All right, we have a burst of Excelli on deck, ready to go. This is a little troublesome. The Excelli is probably gonna die in overcost to Nanju, so Sinanju's gotta play a little safe here. We can't really afford to take too much extra damage. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sinanju also a suit that's oh, that's a lot of health. Oh, and they're boosting into oh, the. Oh no, nuke? it's just a regular CSA. Okay, okay that's right. That's right. That's right. Oh, oh man, if Sinandu dies here, this is not going to be good. He's going to spawn in with like 100 health. Yeah, we've got a front uh, Excelia here, but they are very low. They can try and clean it up. We, we do see us kind of backing off here. Just, But I'm not sure. Rock, oh, and do it. Rock I got him with the rock. They're Let's like, find a rock. Right. We need a big old rock or maybe something. They, they, like are, disgusting. they are disgusting. They are disgusting. They are, yeah, they, they are communicating here, trying to figure out what they need to do. Uh, Excellent. Like, you watch this 
Heavy Arms again, the Legend. Oh my god, I'm kind of tempted. I just want to know which one Mao Zedong is, which one uh, Shadow Wizard Money Gang. Shadow Wizard Money Gang is an extremely powerful name. I, I, I don't know what else I can say. such a good name. It is almost the equivalent of like a Dark Flame Master. <laughs> it is like, yeah, it's... There we go. It's beyond my comprehension. It's It's like... It's like Eldritch Horror, where it's like, yeah, I can't actually comprehend the power of this player. It's just, it's oh my god, driving me insane. Overheat. It's just driving me insane. Oh my god, the missiles and the <laughs> extra to get the down. That was a lot of damage. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, we doing flips. Oh, we're taking damage. All right, so heavy arms is already taking a lot of damage early on, but. At the same time, if they're paying a lot of attention to heavy arms, that probably oh, that works out better yeah, for heavy arms. Because if you're looking at this suit, that's a problem. Oh, Sandrock? Oh, and the Sandrock assist and the missiles, they don't get the down. And oh, then they get, get the, the down. down anyway. I think we're getting hit here, though. No? Oh, oh here comes the S burst. We're going high. <laughs> Maybe we super. Are we get super? No, okay. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. And the immediate 6B. The we're alive, I think. Yes. Oh, and they get the landing punish on their partner. Oh, no. Okay, we're fronting. Oh, God. Front heavy arm ZW. Let's go. If they get good damage on Shinanji, though, it's really good. They're going. He's going. He's going. Oh, they're double locking the Sinanju, <laughs> but the Sinanju's crowd, got shields up. The crowd absolutely loves this, by the way. <laughs> no, they absolutely adore it. <laughs> we just we just need to go in. We have burst. Oh, they're not spending it. They're not spending it. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, no, his partner's very low. But okay, oh, okay, and okay. Sinanju actually doesn't die. He doesn't do enough damage. Oh, oh and right. X1 was up way too far. He just ends up eating an Excelius knife for this. Well, big shout-outs to Shadow Wizard Money Gang and Mouse of Bond for probably the most entertaining season. Oh my god. Shadow Wizard Money Gang, you cast a spell tonight, and you captivated my heart. I'll never get it back. Glad we caught that on camera. Oh my god, that was legendary. That was legendary. Yeah, yeah, we are we are marching our way forward. I think the last round two match here we've got is uh, Kyoji Shadow versus Gandorf Sonoshi. That's gonna be an interesting. That's ride. gonna be a good. I think it's probably gonna be the the most contested uh, round two match. Oh yeah. Let's see how that plays out, but I was definitely liking the full saber from uh, Gandorf Sonoshi's team, like. Did you don't actually know which of them was playing the full saber, actually. So yeah, that's uh, it's a bit of guesswork a lot of the time. <clears throat> but in general, just the self defense from the full saber was so solid. If you sub to the channel, I'll give you whatever POV you want. Hey y'all, we're getting incentives. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, well, that's real community right yeah, there. Yeah, so, sub so to the channel, Cole. We'll get you that Marsai POV. <laughs> <laughs> Or bits. We'll take bits too. Yeah, we'll take bits. Either what? Perhaps even a direct donation? Question mark. Yeah. I don't know. I don't run the channel. I'm just making assumptions. All right, here we go. So. This sounds like some Sega Genesis stuff. This does. This is definitely some like SM synth. <laughs> oh, that, that, this this is just Falcom now. Wait, uh, is this a different match? This, I think we're, I think we're running a different match. Uh, that, that's that's not kill. <laughs> None of those players are the players that I know. Yeah, this is. Uh, this is, this is Riven and White Beast. Oh, we didn't do that match yet. Right. Okay. Here we yeah. go. Yeah. If you had a knife in your back and something in your something, which one would you pull out first? I, I I don't know if that's a conversation we should even be having right now. No, but like when the knife is in your back, isn't it not good to pull it out, right? It depends. 
I guess it depends on the wound, but like if you don't know because it's in your back, right? You might be better off not pulling it out. Howdy ah. from the Southern 404. What's going on, man? Hey. See, now you just got me thinking about I mean, like, I the think first it's actually of Chainsaw Man. No, but like, I think it's pretty dangerous to actually pull a knife out of your back like that, right? <sighs> I don't really think you can feasibly do that yourself. Yeah. And you'll probably like just go into shock, right? Oh, damn. You, you definitely pass out. So 100%. I think we know what the option is. <laughs> Oh, but real quick, now that we have that uh, that little uh, bit of quiet now, yeah, I actually kind of like the way that Bochi. Uh, how can I put this? Uh, how they get across that feeling of anxiety, where there are times where it is played up as a joke to make it a little more like. I feel like ninety nine percent of the time it's played as a joke. The girl turns into like a puddle of ash, and her friends are just like cool with it. <laughs> But I do legitimately think there's also some very sincere ways that they do look at the issue. Granted, it is also very much I think a lot it of the gets time away with a lot just because it isn't something that's done in, in anime media. Th that's the big thing. Is that yeah, it's but not like you could read a, a book. I don't think Bochi has like I don't think Bochi can hold a candle to like a good book. Apparently the manga was also very different with how it's it was a four like, coma. Yeah, it's so. like a four coma. So I the adaptation think, takes a lot of. Like, I think the uh, ways the adaptation actually tries to like translate the four coma, I don't think was very good either, in my opinion. I think it tries too hard to make it look like it has a character arc in the first season when it it really definitely doesn't. When in general, a lot of the character arc was we're gonna form a band and it's gonna be sick, just like this match is gonna be sick. I I definitely think that the. Is this a bun check? I I don't know. Oh, uh, it's going ahead. I am very confused. Wait, there's two Excelius. Oh, God. All right, the real question is, which of the POVs has the better background music? Oh, this is kind of bass. This is pretty good. And then immediately just duff him with the, with the CCAB. Yeah, this track's pretty good. What is this from? I don't know. Is this some more Falcom stuff? It must be. Oh, this, this, I can hear the SM Sin. I'm so distracted, I can't even watch the matches. Yeah, but, <laughs> um, I mean, regardless of who they got to, to, to like flesh out the anime, I, at the end of the day, like they're still following the four coma, so it's not like you can just create a character arc out of nothing. Yeah. So yeah, they definitely embellish some things, but I think what that kind of does is I, I personally found it kind of disingenuous as far as how the tone of it is. Like the tone of the first like five episodes, six episodes compared to the tone of like the later half, very different. I can and, agree with you on that actually. And I actually feel like I preferred it in the second half, which I felt like was closer to that more common feel. It leans a little more heavily into the humor uh -huh. and it leans less into like, character-driven plot points. You know, like, the beats are are just a lot more folk, folk coma e to me. Yeah, you know, they're, they're I feel like there's like, a huge change yeah. the moment you go, we really were Bochi the Rock the whole time. Yeah, yeah, so. Like, there's a huge tonal shift there. Oh. All right, let's, uh, let, let, let's not watch Excelia. How about that? Yeah, I, you know what? There's, there's a Rex. Lupus Rex right here. I'm always for that. This suit's pretty rad. He's got a tail. It makes everyone really mad. Yeah, Wipey's kind of going ham right now, though, on the hot scramble, I think. It says, unless that's Riven. Whoever their hot scramble player is kind of going in. No, oh, yeah, and immediately just absolutely annihilates the Lupus Rex. You got e burst here. Oh. We are, we are trying to figure out how to get in. Oh, and immediately just gets duffed by the, what was that, 2 AC, I'm pretty sure? Oh. Whoa. Yeah, Lupus Rex just cannot get movement in. Spending Bochi is good because moves. I'm like Bochi on the inside. I, like, I don't know what, I don't know, man. Like, I feel like if you actually are Bochi on the inside, I don't think Bochi is the show. Like, I think it's like, 
It's like escape is over there. I don't, I don't think it was. USA! I, I think it could have been something else. Like, I, I, I think... I don't think that... I don't think that the way Bochy handles its games are... are uh, disingenuous or, or... or harmful. But I think that... it's a missed opportunity to like, treat those issues in all seriousness. Like, Okay, I think like what's huge is like so one of my favorite scenes in Bojack. I can't believe we're talking about this, but you know the stream is cool with it. He's cool with it. He's listening to this. I will stop as soon as I'm told that. <laughs> yeah, no. So like probably my favorite scene um, in the last episode is yeah. the one where after uh, Bochi wakes up after the the stage dive. Yeah. And points out to Kita that she's gotten really good. Like, Kita, like, says some stuff about how she's just, like, trying to live up to how amazing the rest of her members are, right? And she, she feels that sense of insecurity, right? Yes. So notice how, like, that scene was take, was treated very seriously, right? Yes. There's no gag there. The character doesn't turn to, like, a puddle, right? Yeah. It's, I find it really strange that it's, like, that's actually one of the best, like, real scenes of, in terms of character emotions in the show, and it's not bochi. Uh, like it's like they can do themes like that, and they, they they clearly they clearly have awareness of that. And I just think the show would have been better if they really tried to tackle some of the more complex emotions without it being a device for gags, you know. And like, so like yeah, like I, I mean I don't necessarily have a problem with it doing that, but it's like I think it could have been better. Like I, I think I think I think I I I worry that. I worry that the show is being used as a tool by people who, like, don't really suffer from true social anxiety, but they suffer enough from it to be like, oh, that's funny, that's like me. But, like, we're not really, we're not really, we're not really, like, gaining an awareness as a community yeah, or as a group about those kind of topics. I think that's kind of messed up. Like, it's kind of messed up that, like, someone can be like, ha, oh, it's just like me for real, and, like, you as like the outsider, you aren't saying, "Oh man, like maybe I should like talk to him about this kind of thing." It's like, no, we're all laughing about it together, and like I think that's kind of whack. I think that there's pros and cons to really being able to laugh at it together as a sort of thing, but like, it's also one of those things where if you are laughing at it, which is very very easy to do, I think in a situation like that, it is definitely not helpful. Well, it's like, it's it's, I mean, it's kind of like watamote in that it's like self-deprecating humor in some ways. Ooh. Right, it's like this kind of cringe humor, but you know, people aren't. The thing was with Watamote, people don't go, "She's like me for real." For real. And, when, <laughs> and when you do, it's it's like that's funny, right? But when so like when you when someone says she's just like me for real, for real, to Watamote, like if my friend says that, you're just like, okay, you're a funny guy, right? You're not thinking like, well, maybe you are, but it's like, you're not you're not being like. You know, maybe I should do something, like, when I interact with this person, yeah. you know. But, like, you know, it's, like, I don't like, I, I definitely, yeah, thanks for the bits, by the way. Was that, wait, wait, was that, was that Cole who donated the bits? I'm pretty sure that was Cole. I'm pretty sure that Is was he Cole. He's for the Marsai. Okay, we got to give him the Marsai. Yeah, we'll give you the Marsai POV. Just for you, yeah. POV, Marasai uh, is eight beings why, in your location. Yeah, why, why aren't, yeah, Bochi the bits. How come you're not here, Cole? I miss you, man. Oh, man. Um, I feel like I haven't seen Cole in 10,000 years. All right, here we go. Got, I got I got your Marasai hot and ready. Yo, did you know that they made the hot and ready's like $8 now? I've never had a hot and ready. So. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> I would say you're missing out, but this is a team, by the way. Like this is a hype. This, this is a hype team. Mar yeah. Marsai Kashi. Like talk about we're gonna grind some nuge. Yeah, go go, my son. And what is Hold this on the, the opponent team? Hold up, GPO3 Extreme. Ooh. All right. Okay. I'm a little curious as, as to the, what this yeah, comp is trying to It's not gonna be easy. It's not going to be easy. Oh, excellent. Yeah, we've got the layout, so it's oh, not it's covering perfect. the health, health bars. But yeah, it's going to be a little difficult to cover GPO3 as extreme, but, uh, you know, I mean, we are in Form 2, so 
Yeah, we're in form two. We got Shooty Extreme and Shooty. Maybe their maybe their plans are just flood and pollute the screen with as many missiles as possible. So I mean, to be fair, it's hard to say which team here has better spam. They both have good spam. But I, I do think uh, you know the the GPO three Eclipse. It's a little more fragile here, right? So a little more fragile, and the, uh, the big him. thing is just Marasai, You know, has infinite ammo. And Penelope just has all of those missiles yeah. for every main shot. Well, we do. We are taking some damage as Marasai here, so I don't know if the plan is to OC or we're still going to play back. But we do have E burst to lean on. So, and I think, I think rightly we are playing a lot of pressure here. So you know. Yeah, I think as long as they just kind of stick back, go in and out of uh, the edge of Redlock, that on paper this should definitely be Penelope and Marasai's win, but anything can happen here. Uh, Kashi, yeah. Or Kashi, yeah, my apologies. Yeah, so we, we definitely front in here. Yep, there's the calm. But, you know, Marasai front, like, it's time to give him the boot, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, we actually might win this exchange. Oh, wow, oh, yeah. Flip burst out. out. Eclipse up, very big. Have to respect it, even even if you, you've got your oh, free catches cancel. them on the side. That was such a good L formation there. Oh, man, just nice. to avoid the Garrow. That's huge. Yeah, we're staying alive on this last sliver here, trying to get some Oki. Let's see what we got. Yo, we got some Oki Zoomies. Might get that, yeah. And catches the landing with the main. Very nice from Kyo. I didn't, unfortunately, get to read the whole thing you wrote about that poetry thing. I, I can see the from, from, but, so, like, what I'll say is that I, I don't, I'm not saying that it's, that, I'm not saying that, like, her, that Bochi's anxiety is, is being exploited purely for gag. That's, that's not what I mean. I, I think there's nothing wrong with humor. Uh... It's just, it's specifically, it's specifically that there's a lot of people who, whose, uh, whose enjoyment of the show hinges on their ability to relate to the character, basically. See, for me, I just love visual gags. Yeah, no, it's and funny. Like, I, I think it's ooh. funny. It's a funny show. That stuff just, like, the moment they, that, like, I was like, if I started watching that show and you told me, oh, yeah, they're just going to have a T-posing Bochi go into stock 3D blender blocks. Like, I, mean, like, I, I, I said it, but basically, like, I have nothing I have nothing wrong with this series as far as, like, it's an enjoyable romp with girls doing an activity, and there's also, like, gags based on this one girl who has social anxiety. That's fine. Like, I have nothing wrong with that, basically. So are we sticking with Marasai for the bits? Yeah, I mean, we got paid to watch. The, we got look we at got that. paid again. Yeah, we're 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 all about it. Our our stream our stream runners like, yo, let's get more Marasai matches going, yo. Like, we're yo, all if about I get a Marasai match every set for the rest of the tournament, I could pay for my kids' tuition. Let's go. Yeah, if only it was as easy as just streaming Marasai. Oh man. If only life was so simple. Yo, shout outs to the American education system. But speaking of oppressive, much like the American education system, Kyo and the gang are doing pretty good here. Putting on a lot of pressure, and they have dealt a lot of incidental damage to Double X and GPO3 already. The pressure yeah. is real. So GPO3, Double X, yeah. Like uh, like someone in the chat mentioned, it makes a lot more sense here. But we are still the Iron Wall as Marasai Kashi. Yeah, GPO3, like, very low already. Not it's, where we want to be here. It's so difficult to get in on the Great Wall of Kashi. Nice oh, block. such a good block from Kyo. And that actually manages to get them to down. Kyo yeah. it manages to escape and make his way back to the rear. I think the big thing is that we really neutralize a lot of this S burst from DX. So that's that's the biggest point for DX here was was this burst. And now that that's gone, like we're we're out of a lot of juice. Oh, and just, DX is gonna get one more burst, but uh, you know, gonna be when he's like pretty low. So. And then uh -oh. GPO3 goes down. This is going to get real spooky real quick. Yeah. Nice. Double X should have S burst almost on deck. And speak of the devil. Yeah, Kyo G Shadow haven't, uh, haven't gone taken down on either player yet. Okay. Ooh. Being rough with the close down GPO3. Yeah, that is all she wrote. I feel like you run E burst here too, though I'll assume it was just a mistake that they stayed on S. Oh, who was on S? Uh, Apparently GPO3 was on S? Oh, GPO3 was on S? Yeah, that's got to be nice. GPO3 must die. 
Hey, that's, I, I like GPO 3. I like having fastballs all the time. Yeah, GPO 3 is a good suit. Me personally, if you, if you told me I could have missiles, fastballs, a CSA to make my melee fastball, I'd say, sounds like a good deal. I'll take 10. So that's our winner's top eight locked in now. We've got uh, ROA JU. It's going to be playing against uh, White Beast Riven. And then uh, Kid Chris Bardot uh, versus uh, Kyo and Jishao that we just saw win this uh, this last winner's round two match. So I think we're going to hop down probably to the lower bracket here. We've got that top eight, yeah. Yeah. ROA White Beast is actually going to be a really interesting match, though, because that is... A that, that is a region kill, because Jeyu, I know, is part of the same region as yeah. uh, White Beast and uh, Riven. All right. Let's see what we got next. We definitely have a lot of losers matches we got to play out, though, so I... Yeah, we got to get running. People are already talking about Blaze Blue. Gotta love BB. BB making that glow up. <laughs> Yo, this auto mod. Auto mod. <laughs> this auto mod on CG. Our auto mod detects the word coward. That's so godlike. That's amazing. Now, to players shaking my head. Yeah, that's some toxic terminology, man. Oh my god, can't believe they censored the word now to Kurogane. Twitch doesn't like dash cancels, dude. Yeah. My CG got to be so toxic. Ragnar Gundam with 5v sounds pretty good. Oh, yeah. my God. No, no, no. Ragnar Gundam is house fanging at you, right? Yo, like he's, he's like house fanging. <laughs> that, that, that's, okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to come with a move list right now. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so. So. <laughs> okay, so you've also got to have gauntlet, right? So I think, like, maybe sub. Okay, okay. Sub is going to be, like, five sub is, 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 is gauntlet, Hades, and, like, 2 8 sub is Hell's Fang. But what's Dead Spike? Dead Spike? Dead Spike's 2v. Oh, yeah, that would work. That would work. Yeah, Dead Spike's 2v. You get Rainbow Step, that's pretty good. Yo, Rainbow Step Dead Spike would be yeah. absolutely busted. Yeah, I don't know what AC or BC are then, though. Like, BC would be Inferno Divider. And it would have Frame 1 Invault. I think AC is Inferno Divider and BC is Bellow Edge. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right, actually. Oh, man, imagine hitting BC when you're, like, all the way up. It's like Epion. Oh, yeah, B just doing belly really damage. 2 b could also be Belly Edge. That's true. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard to say. All right, so uh, Team Ganondorf Shinoshi, they are running it back on the loser side here. They're playing versus uh, Ashamed and Rainbow Heavy FM. Yo, that sounds like a radio station. I like that they bring back the full saber though. I'm pretty sure that was them piloting the full saber in, in the winner's side. I thought that was looking pretty good. Well, let's take a look at their PV this time. All right. Hey yo, d w uh, hello. No, they should. That. There's no way. Th there's no way they're doing this in tournament, right? You say that, but I fear. Huh? Yo, so Let's we randomed into heavy we arms TV. Into heavy arms. All right, let's uh. All right, let's see it. Show, oh. show me a random. I'm Give me this I'm random select heavy yeah, arms. I'm watching. I'm watching. Uh. So about God Gundam. Yeah, so... <laughs> take a look at... Uh, uh, this is more like it. We are just holding forward. We are holding forward. We are hitting 6B. God We're not afraid of anything. Yeah. <laughs> oh this, my God. this dude is also so hilarious in cross boost, where you just literally go forward forever. Because everything whiff cancels into itself, and you're just literally just screaming at people. Oh my god, they're, they're going for the fancy stuff with this suit. They are wanting the heat end. Oh, not quite. Uh, did he finish this? Okay. Ooh. 
And here comes Full Saber with the ABC, I think? I don't know, it's always hard to tell. The FGC nod. <laughs> Yo, the, the he's, Riz! He's, he's playing the uh, mid frame. Yeah, that was a real match. I think that was a real match. That was definitely a real match. Are we going double 2K random again? Oh, yeah, we baby. Got, we got Farsia. Oh, there's the, there's the uh, full saver. Yeah, let, let's see some of this full save. That would be one of my favorite sets in this. And immediately just going in with an extended movement sequence. Big landing punish. And immediately another big landing punish. Oh, Doesn't finish the confirm. Okay. Now. Wow. Yeah, punish the actual attack. Good use of sub. Didn't look like they got the complete down, though. Red frame going to town. Yeah, I'm not sure where this full saber was in winner's side. I, I oh, gosh. I do recall we saw them play. But I think they were playing against... No, they played D They were playing DX and they were playing uh, Eclipse. Ah. Okay, good movement here yes. from the full saber player. Looking pretty one-sided here. Forces the Emperor set of the God Gundam. Yeah, God on his last bit of life here. Let's see if they can get a cut. What's going on? Oh, just chasing the Farsia. Guaranteed landing punish gets a small confirm, but it doesn't matter because yeah. Red Frame is out on God Gundam. Yeah, if you pick Red Frame guy, turn around and That's all you boys. It's for you. You ever see Krillin do solar flare? Oh, Yo, what is this Riz? <laughs> God! All right, so I think that was losers round two or three. We've got a couple more matches until we get to top eight. Let's go. So we are we are getting there. I think uh, next up, we probably got Shadow. Oh, here we go. Yeah, the, I see the people in the crowd. They're popping off because Shadow Wizard Money Gang and Mao Zedong have been announced. Oh, to play baby. The next match. They're getting ready to cast another spell. I don't know what it is, but it probably requires bullets. You ever watch Outlaw Star? That's what we're about to see. Oh, let's do it. They got matching uh, beanies. Oh my god, they really are matching beanies. There's oh, two of them. Yeah. Matching beanies, same hair. There's two of them. Both sides. <laughs> All right. Yeah. What will the great Shadow Wizard Money Gang play for us today? We have a person. That's our fantasy track in the back. Yo, is that my homie Butt69? The legendary Butt69? Uh, crossbows. X1. Kusoge King? All right, here we go. Yeah, I gotta, gotta change that before the VOD gets taken down. Yeah. <laughs> no sentry color allowed. Banned. Ha 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 ha. Oh, We miss right. you, Andrew. I wish you were here. See it. Players, uh, are you doing a button check here? Let's see what's going on. Looking like. Oh, we're desyncing pads. Oh my oh, God. That's the real combo. Everyone in chat, if you've never been to an in-person event, look at this combo right here. This is the most in important notation you could ever learn before going to yeah. Evo. Doesn't matter what your optimals are. Yeah, desync your pads every single time. No exceptions. All right, there we go. We're just doing some button checks. So are we actually going to see some, some real Shiroko? I don't know. Hopefully. Because I definitely think that this... I'm sorry, I was taken aback by the double X1. Wait, are they in sync? Is that just the same feed? Uh, 
Yes, it is. Yes, okay, it same is. name. Yes, it is. Yes, I, yes. I thought we were seeing some wacky synchronized swimming no, here I for think, a second. Uh, I, it's me not setting the, the things right. I'm okay. Sure. Maybe if I do this. Yo. <laughs> then if I do. Let's see. I do this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the stream is in shambles. I'm getting close, guys. We're close. Worry. We almost got Let's this. See. I think we got it. We got it. No, we did. I, we oh, dang. This is so hard. Oh my god. It's like you're fighting your remote and you're fighting the setup. No, this is so hard. <laughs> okay, my streamer uh, assistant. Our professional is gonna do it. For times like this, you have to call in a professional. You have a point. There are professionals of all different kinds, you know? You can be professional in one field and an amateur in another. That's totally fine. All right, that looks right. Yeah, I think we got it. Yeah, I think it. we got it. All right. I think these players are... Looks like they're ready to go. Here we go, guys. That was like the longest button check of my life. That was like a melee hand warmers. All right, so are we watching Heavy Arms again? I think we have to. Like kind of. Wait, there's also a Death Side TV. We gotta watch the Heavy Arms. Yeah. There's so many wacky suits here. All right, the Legend of the Heavy Arms. Okay, here we go. God, I love Toonami. <laughs> so. Deathside is really cursed, actually, in cross boost because when he enters Hyper Jammer, if he melees, he doesn't exit Hyper Jammer anymore. Oh my god! <laughs> You're just meleeing while while invisible. It's, That's it's, messed up. It's cool. It's it, it kind of makes sense, but it's kind of evil. Yeah. No, it, it's darkness, but I, I like the sound of it. It feels good. Yeah, you get the dopamine. Give me the good well, brain. We candles. are okay. Oh my god. I think we're uh, winning. I think we're winning. We are definitely We'd like to help here, overall though. in the lead. Got him. Yo, the double down, dead almost at the same time. That's actually really unfortunate. Depending on when that death was, Masala might not have gotten extra burst from the death sight's death. That's oh! a tough question. Oh! 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 Yes, heavy arms is big brand. How? How, how, do you, how are you supposed to fight a 3v2? Uh, he's going to show us. Oh, my God. It's time to pop Esperus. Got him. Yo, it's a 3v2. It's not fair. Okay, we're getting bursts everywhere. How did they avoid that Garrow? Got him. Oh, Yo, Esperus. <laughs> my man's casually walking. He's just lo loading the machine gun. Shadow Wizard Money Gang and now the Bog. Oh my God! All right, do we watch the Death Side next? Yeah, I think we should watch the Death Side next. We we gotta have that Gundam Wing trifecta or dual. I don't know. I can't. I don't know. Oh, wait, the Death Side was on the other team. Yes. Oh, okay. So it's it's this one then. Yeah. Indeed, shout outs to the good brain chemicals. Let's go. Right, here we go. So, if I recall, this suit was kind of darkness and full boost, wasn't it? Or the 2.5k no, version, at least? No, he's. He's just. He's just. Well. I don't really think he was considered that strong, but. He was a lot easier to troll with in that game because ah. the, the cow was a lot better. But ever since, yeah, they, ever since they nerfed the cow, 
the 2.5k version is a lot less cool, but we're, we're going in. Okay, forces out the E burst from X1. Honestly, it's pretty hard to make a Gundam. It's pretty, it's pretty impossible for this suit not to be cool when it has like a beam scythe and it looks like Batman. Like, it, yeah, this, this suit's sick. And his voice actor voices saber tooth. Yeah. Well, that's English at least. I actually don't know what his Japanese sayu voices. I forgot a lot of the other major roles from this sayu, but I'm sure sure someone in the chat can know. We got the full E. 6B, get it again. Oh, that's a big whiff. And they have full E. They are not spending it. They are stepping like a madman. You will not be hitting me today. Fish movement. Got him. Fish movement. Oh, my God. So I was going to All say right, right now. Heavy Arms taking it. Heavy Arms takes it. That Death Scythe was playing a very different game. They were playing Death Scythe. They got a big shout out Wizard Money Gang and Mouse of Bong. They got a big fan base. They are definitely the heroes of the tournament. They don't even have to win at this I, point. I, I'm not going to lie. I, I gain great pleasure every time I get to say shout out Wizard Money Gang. <laughs> shout out Wizard Money Gang. It's, has really like, good. it's like I'm saying a spell. It's really exactly, good. Yeah. It, it has that same good brain juice that Dark Flame Master it's does. It's like I'm, I'm saying Beetlejuice. It's like I'm going to summon a demon if I say his name <laughs> enough. You know, I love it. Anyways, thanks for joining us, guys, here. If you guys are just coming in here, this is Gundam Extreme versus Maxi Boost on for the PlayStation 4 here. We've got our side tournament in good standings here. We're getting very close to top eight. Um, and, yeah, we're just having a good time. If you like the content, be sure to, you know, give a follow on the channel and uh, spread the word. Tell people to hop in here because, yeah, we've got some offline Gundam tournament goodness. And definitely, if you are interested in this game at all, it tends to go on sale pretty regularly. So if you like yeah, what you're yeah, seeing, yeah. pretty active player base, I definitely recommend hopping in. Yeah, no, definitely. It's, uh, I think, especially this version has done really good for, uh, like, people are, the fact that people are still active, even though this version's been out for, you know, like a good almost th three full years now, uh, it's really impressive. Yeah. No, yeah, like, the, just, Seems like Seeing bigger than ever. Seeing always yeah. playing this, like, it does bring joy to my heart in a lot of ways. Yeah. yeah. It's like the fact that we still get active lobbies going, and it's, it's, it's good stuff. It's like every day. All right. Uh, so we are on to our next match here. This is, uh, I believe this is Aeroflow Top Nap versus Kojak Wiseman. Yo. Some good stuff here. So this is uh, the last match before Top 8. Yeah, I think this is the last match before top eight. Sounds about right. Got some some nice hot scramble goodness. Got some good movement here. Get the good vibes. I will get the split screen on. Tiki tiki. Uh uh. <laughs> uh I'm gonna get this. I swear. Oh, looks like the match is starting. <laughs> I give up. You can't give up yet. We gotta watch a P POV, not PV. There are no uh, promotional videos here. All right, I'll go ahead. All right, so Destiny Hot Scramble, I definitely feel is an interesting matchup overall. Tiki Tiki Ah uh, uh, would be a really good team name for this game, actually. Oh, yo. Oh. Very ambitious charge shot that works out. Uh-oh, gets shot in the back by his partner, though. All right, immediately text forward, trying to keep that aggression going. Immediately going back to neutral yeah, right now. we got afterwards. wings on deck here. We got it down on Excelia. We're just diving in. We smell. Oh, they haven't even yeah, spent wings yet. We smell yet. weakness here. Boomerang in the trade, not so good against Excelia main, but uh, we're, we're still doing pretty well. We are just going in. I think we actually accidentally hit Hot Scramble on the way down. Yeah, but Destiny's partner is already bleeding real bad, yeah, so Destiny's we, we, looking oh, like they might have to in. swap into backing, and I say that, and they take half of their life. Yeah, we got Burst here, too. So, they, you know, Excelia down, too, though, so both 3Ks are going to be backing here. Definitely positions where both of these suits can thrive, given their tool sets, so not the worst situation. Yeah, it's still a little dangerous here, but, you know, we do have that Burst, so if we can manage to find something, oh, Ooh, no. Oh, gets caught by the fences and gets the AC confirmed. That is huge. Uh oh, I think Spending we're into the burst. Yeah, we get these fences are very annoying to deal with though on uh, as uh, as Destiny here. It's oh, and then Hot Scramble calls that burst with their own burst. Oh, no, the yeah, 
yeah, a little bit of a stutter movement here. Our partner, Stride Noir, oh, is desperately trying to make to something happen. To cover the landing! That was so clutch! That was such a clutch sequence. Oh, uh, here's Wings again. Excelia popping E. Oh, no. Oh, Four Destiny feet. has got to run for there. Like, they're oh, taking forward! Holding CSA, yeah. Hold, holding CSA on Wake Up there, very dangerous. Oh my god. The moment I saw they had 4 HP and they were teching forward, my fight or flight kicked in so hard. Oh my god, I'm so stressed out, dude. Oh no, we've, we've got, I gotta turn away from ah! Destiny. We, I gotta censor Mahoko. No more Destiny. <laughs> gotta take away his power. Dang. All right, which POV we looking at here, Chief? Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at the hot scramble. You know, I'm always a fan of the hot I mean, scramble. Yeah, honestly, the more I get to listen to Vicious BGM, like... The, the green lock AC? Oh, that's a really nice CSB, though, from Destiny, actually. Yeah, that's a relatively good damage trade for them. Oh, but they get their own it's CSA! Like, I have my own Garrow from full screen. Oh, this entire game's getting played in green lock today, baby. Yeah, hot scramble looking very clean right now. Both sides trading, but hot but everything is kind of working a little more in the favor of the hot oh, scramble. Oh, that, that shield bits there so Ooh. good. That's a really well timed shield bit from Excelia. Very good coordination, and they're trading damage. But in general, oh, hot scramble is trading up. damage way more positive. Beautiful AC. That was really textbook. Oh, Catching the God. jump. All right, aggressing a little bit over eagerly here, but we do have burst, so we're just trying to finish it. I think. Oh, they got we, 170. We can, we can afford to do whatever we want here. That might be it. Oh, e burst e yes. out. Oh my god, this game is almost over. Yes. This game is over. That's two. Good lord. Oh. All right. So we're in our top eight now. So I think we're probably going to start at the top. So I think it's going to be our way, JU first, maybe, maybe versus uh, White Beast team. We'll find out. I can only hope, because I know for a fact that that is going to be a hype match. And winding down to our top eight here, we're going to see, I think, a bit of a change from what we've been seeing uh, so far. I think we're going to be seeing a lot more slow play, a lot more uh, just careful neutral, people assessing threat distances a lot more consistently, and... It's going to also mean some longer matches, but a lot more, I feel, to kind of really go over and analyze with uh, what's been going on so far. Yeah, we'll have to see. Um, Sometimes these matches can still get pretty nutty, even in top eights. It's not Japan where all of a sudden it's just like, oh, Reborn's Dark Hound all the time. Everything goes to timeout. Yeah. Uh, our, our ways team is probably the most geared towards a slow grind, I think, in this bracket. Yeah. They're running the Penelope GPO3. Uh, although the uh, Kyo's team, like if G-Shadow's playing Kushi again, then like it's kind of a match I'm, I'm looking to see maybe if like based on bracket, bracket prediction, like winner's finals could easily be uh, ROA JU versus Kyo G-Shadow. And if so, then that would be possibly Kushi Penelope. I don't know. G Shadow can play a bunch of stuff, I think, so I don't know if he's going to stay with Kushi. <laughs> Yo, shout outs to Jay in the crowd. Kojak going nuts. Yeah, people people going in, but here we go. So, yeah, that's. We got Jay our way on the right, and uh, we got White Beast, and uh, I keep forgetting his partner's name. Uh, uh, Riven. Riven, Riven, right? Yeah, Riven. Yeah, Riven on the left. So, we'll, Monstrous we'll see Soul how this Player goes. and Plus yeah. R. Pretty sure in a first to death I played with them in plus R. The score was like 90 to 2 his favor. <laughs> Definitely a monster. Are you entered in plus R? Oh, or? heck no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would have entered in Rev 2 had I known rollback was actually going to be a thing before this tournament. Right, right, yeah. Yeah, it looks like we do have a little bit of uh, audio difficulties here, so... Huh? Uh, bear with us for a moment as we kind of get that resolved. Once again, just proving that streaming can once again be a blow up. I think we've all been there before. Anyone that's ever put on their own live production. 
Yeah, we, I gotta hear that ticky ticky ah uh ah. -uh. If not, what are we even here for? What? Why even live at that point? Yeah. Like we we're living for heavy arms, for G Shadow, Money Gang, and Tiki Tiki Ah, uh, and Bochi the Rock, I guess. Oh, definitely Bochi the Rock. Yo, can we actually get a Bochi cover? Cover? Yeah, give me a give me a cover of a uh, Tiki Tiki. <laughs> in in the style of Asian Kung Fu Generation, just S just sung by the ultimate threat. Sung by cute girls. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, there we go. All right, we're good, yeah. Yes, known Bochy the Rock Lover, the Brett. Oh, so that, okay. I bet it's the microphone. It's probably the stick. The stick is probably stealing audio. Uh, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. okay. They have headphones plugged into the arcade stick? No, so if his stick has a headphone jack, most of these sticks are like, Designed in a dumb way where they're kind of always on, even if you don't actually have a, a jack plugged in. So no. it's likely the reason why this particular PS4's audio is gone is probably the setting. Because so it was just working. So I was going to say, maybe they just need to swap PS4s. Need a go no, no. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, wait, no, that's, this is the wrong person. Do I need to go over there? Do you, do you want me to go over there? Okay, hold on one second. All right. Well, chat, looks like you just stuck with me for a second. How's it all going? Just small little technical difficulties here, but we're going to get things worked through here in uh, just a bit. That's a, that's a big bear. Ooh, that's a big bear. <laughs> but yeah, such is the way with streaming, with putting on a production. Things just sort of happen sometimes. But they should be able to get the audio issue fixed here. Whether or not it's uh, something to do with JU stick or maybe just a plug or something. Looking like it might be something with the audio devices. Ooh. Yeah. All right. I think we're close. Let's go, JU. Uh, looks like Brett's coming back. All right, so what's the damages? So it's not what I thought it was, so it must be something to do with the HDMIs or something. Uh-huh. Is my guess. I don't know. It's really weird, though, because it was just working. That's so awkward. Maybe, like, an HDMI got jostled or something when a stick was plugged eh, in. I don't know. Yeah, we'll find out. But in the meantime, we can theorize uh, how this match is going to play out. Hot Scramble Excelia is a team I like. It Side? side? Side sub from Hot Scammer is a surprisingly effective tool to be able to just, you know, play a long game with, so. It lets you fast fall, it lets you control space, you don't exactly have to engage with it, and it lets you disengage. Yeah, you, you can actually target a GPO3 landing um, with it pretty well because, yeah, like, they're usually a little overconfident with their ability to omicale all the time, and you can you can easily punish a lateral movement after landing with the uh, side sub, so. Yeah, not to mention, both of those suits are suits that are relatively comfortable even just playing at green lock. So, like, they don't really, the onus isn't really on them to aggress a lot of the time. Yeah, Excelia main also has some potential to pick off Penelope because Penelope, disp a horizontal displacement off of BC is, like, it's, it's, it's not as good. At, it could be better, right? So, it's, like, there can be small times where maybe it's not a true punish, but Excelia main might be able to connect. Yeah. Um, and then you have a lot of, you can land pretty frequently as Hot Scramble, and Penelope doesn't actually have uh, a way to force, force, you know, fall. Um, so you could put Penelope in a situation where it's just like kind of awkward <laughs> to figure out, like you know, how you're gonna land safely and stuff like that. So. No, yeah, especially when not only do you have to deal with all the stuff getting chucked at you from Excelio with the mains and all of the other stuff that she's chucking, but also hot scramble funnels and just, it can be a nightmare. Absolute nightmare in terms of just movement. So it's like, if they can cut off the access to like the free form movement for a suit like Penelope, 
then that definitely cuts off one of the main strengths of that suit. It's just the ability to move, chuck out a lot of stuff, and just generally not get hit a lot of the time. Where is it? Sorry. <laughs> Where is the receiver? I'm going to find it. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, guys. There we go. There we go. We got it. I realize you guys can see me with my arm out here, like, just, like, doing this. And, like, yeah. All right. For those of you at home, this is what I've been getting to witness the entire time. All right. So I think I think we're ready to go here. Let's get this going. So also, uh, Jeyu and Kyo were sitting down. Yeah. And I learned something about GPO3. He has a melee combo that refills his ammo. Yeah, yeah. I never knew that. Yes. And I've never seen anyone do it. It's like, I mean, the situation where you use it is very specific, right? So, yeah. yeah. But I learned that, and I was just losing my mind because I'd never seen it be used ever. All right, so we might bounce back and forth here between, like, Penelope and uh, Hot Scramble. We'll, we'll see. All right, here we go. Game one. So this is a winner's semifinals here. So pretty high-profile match here. Oh, yeah. This is to make winner's finals. It's a pretty big deal. I'm watching ROA's perspective playing uh, Penelope here. Holding on to the CSA, trying to... We might have to let it go. Uh-oh. Oh, and just gets duffed by the 2B uh, two sub. And then you'll notice with the suit, once you hit the magical number of 420, Penelope loses their pants and becomes mortal. Yeah. Oh! Pen the Excelia shield actually hit on Hot Scramble right before the down went. That was such a clutch timing on that shield. Yeah, not too much action quite yet, but, you know, we're just kind of jostling for position here. Uh, Hot Scramble is still kind of in the corner here. We're, we're just pushing a little bit forward with Penelope. We see... Oh, okay. Ooh. Penelope and, almost lost their yeah, pants Jay, Jay has done a good job. hasn't really gotten hit. And it looks like Hot Scramble, like, their game plan is actually to throw out down sub. So they're, they're actually going to try and find damage with down sub here. And I I, I'm not it. sure if that's going to... I think I think GPO 3 neutral sub ends up winning that, that attempt, but... That was very oh, huge Garrow, punish on yeah. that Vernier, Garrow. But oh, Arway has no, to be so yeah. careful. One tap and their pants are gone. Yeah, it's 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 now not looking that great for White Beast team now. White, White Beast, I think. Uh, oh, yeah. huge landing punish from Arway. Let's go. Not gonna be able to use burst on their first life here. Oh, Arway is just hunting, trying to find any sort of landing, playing extremely conservatively with their movement. Punish here, yeah. All right, here we go. Pants off. Let's well, go. We have Espers, so if we need to defend, we can easily do so. All right, F burst and shields coming from Hot Scramble. Oh. Yo, flash kick. That's a lot of damage. They don't quite get the finisher, but that's still a lot on the board. Oh, CCAB, yeah. CCAB, shot guard, That down. looks pretty annoying to deal with. With this big momentum swing here, we have full burst. Yeah, full uh, S burst Penelope. Definitely nothing to sneeze at here once they see yeah, the burst. If they can, oh, okay, here. he wants a 6 Elliot hit right now. That timing's really good. They're going to still be in burst. Oh, it's it's like oh, over now. Th yeah, there's this no is, this way. Is, uh, this has got to be a We're still game. in burst here. There's just too many footballs. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't even know what hit him here. I think it was a missile? It might have been a GPO 3 CSA. I'm not sure, but. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, there's just so much going on screen. Even when you pop that F burst for the extra mobility, it just doesn't matter. How are you going to avoid everything being thrown at you? Yeah, that uh that S burst ended up being actually really huge. Yeah. Good on ROA for not squandering it on their first life when they saw how low they had gotten at that point. Yeah. Uh there looks like they're just kind of thinking, White Beast is kind of thinking, I don't think down sub is the play. I, I really think you need the free fall if you're gonna try and fight this team. It's too hard to, it's too hard to land. Like you have N sub and like you have GPO three N sub, and you have Penelope everything. Yeah, Penelope and, just doesn't and, have and to. And you're engage. just trying to land. Like you're just trying to land in a relevant position. I, I think it's, it's it's not it, like if you're not land, laying out threats with uh, hot scramble, then you're also not really making the enemy team look too much at you, and then Excelia can't really, you know, do much work, so... Team kind of falls apart if uh, Hot Scramble's not really doing anything. Like, even if we're not going to do that, I'd, I'd like to... I'd rather see M.A. Garrow maybe here than 
than just this, this down subbing. And Egg Arrow would be an excellent way to call out a lot of that Penelope movement. Yeah, like, we have we have good tools. Like, we we saw we got good momentum. Boost Dash Melee, like, once we got in, we got we got work done. It's just actually just getting in against this team. Oh, and, like, you can tell that they're trying to work with their movement a little bit more, working a little more of the fastballs, but they're just running into the Penelope missiles. Oh, he sent down. So that doesn't look like it's going to do anything. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here comes Shields. Going to try to make something work here. I guess, like, they can rely on Excelia Shields to do stuff. I guess on paper, that's not bad. Like, maybe Hot Scramble doesn't need to do that much, but we just wait for the... the Oh, huge landing punish from Ju. Yeah, you kind of... That assumes you can't make mistakes. I think, yeah. Uh-oh. The reward off of that hit very low. Yeah, so with the two down, to so prorate it. We're just hunting for this GPO3. We're trying, but... Oh, nice block. such a clutch block from he Ju and the CSA too. to punish that landing. So nice. All right, so our first burst uh, did not really work out that well. Ju still very healthy here. All right, and we're seeing a two sub. Oh my god, the shield yeah, to save them from that landing <laughs> punish. Actually, pretty good. Oh. That saved a lot of damage. Yeah, for real. But we're still no real closer to figuring out how we're gonna get in here. We're building bursts. If yeah. we're really ambitious, maybe we can get two, but that would it really involve like some perfect play here. Perfect play and some really good death timings. Yeah, we, we need a block. Excelia forced the E-burst to not die here. If Excelia dies here, that's not good either. We really can't afford Excelia to die here. Especially now, because now they won't have that burst coming yeah, on their second life. I don't think we're going to get uh, another one. So. so for Excelia at this point, if they die here, it is do or die on this life. They just need to make a miracle at this point. They, they have to win like three or four exchanges cleanly. Oh, they really overextended there, but they didn't get punished for it. Yeah, or Excelia has to clutch this out. Down sub? Down sub to try to force out the yeah, movement. No Far dice on it. Yeah. First. Oh, God. Nice. And that was a nice no Garrow from Jayu. Yo, this is a nice Garrow from everyone. All right, GG's. But uh, I think our way and Jayu is a very clutch very stable team there. Woo. Just uh, hot scramble cannot get in. It's uh, you. Can, how do you push in when everyone just puts up the great wall of Penelope? I mean, I really think it's uh, it just comes down to not using down sub like that. I, I the down sub was just uh, yeah. It cost them a lot of opportunities, and it cost them a lot in terms of just being able to move and avoid all of those missiles. And then once you put that two sub out, you're just like, I can't fast fall anymore. I, so I'm just going to chuck missiles. I think on paper, you could make an argument that just waiting for uh, Excelia bits and, and occasionally throwing out down sub is maybe going to be enough in the end if you navigate stuff and don't make mistakes. But, you know, that, that implies you don't make mistakes. So Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's the same argument of, oh, you, you can win this matchup every time. Just don't get thrown. Just take the throw. Yeah, I mean, it's probably possible to play that out that way and make it work but yeah i think it's hard yeah it's definitely hard. i would have at least liked to see an attempt with uh with using our subs to land and just try and apply pressure on penelope it, it's hard that penelope is an annoying suit to fight even 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 when you catch these landings it's true that like she's able to create space and uh it can still be annoying but i felt like we were stretching a lot there to in that in that set to just try and deal damage to gpo3 or something and yeah it's, it's just up, uphill battle because you could definitely tell that White Beast's team really wanted to push up with Hot Scramble to make something happen. Yeah. Where it, I feel like that's a matchup where you just have to be willing to just play it really slow. It's a really grindy game because that's just how you have to approach Penelope and Kashi. Is it's really slow and it's really grindy. But eventually, if one of you gets caught out with a mistake, then the reward can be huge for you. Okay, so we've got uh, Kyo and uh, G Shadow versus Kid and. Uh, Chris Bardo coming up next here. Chris Bardo, known for their Akiha play on uh, Type Lumina Net play. I know they also play Undernight, I think, but I don't actually know who they play in Undernight. I don't know if I've seen them play, yeah. But uh, I do see Kill on GPO3 here. <laughs> Not sure if he's going to stick to it. Anyone want to donate more bits from RSI? Yo, we can't donate more bits from RSI until Marasai's on the screen. That's false advertising. Maybe if they donate enough bits, he'll switch to Marasai. Maybe. Yeah, 
Yeah, we'll, we'll see what this actually plays. But yeah, Barb on the other side here. I'm not sure if that's going to be the, the team. I do see that swap. Barbatos Excelia, I don't even know how that would begin to work. Just front Barbatos, I guess? I think uh, you give Barb three lives in that comp, probably. Yeah, that's about the only thing I can think of. We'll see if that's actually what it is. <laughs> Kibo no Hana. <sighs> I'm still on the Barbatos. Oh, oh Montero. Hello? Montero? V Klim Nick in the flesh? My dude? The Montero can see. That sounds like such an obnoxious <laughs> call well, to the play th into. The thing is, like, because she, it's pretty easy to kind of accidentally pull your team to the wall. Yeah. Because she is kind of ten has a tendency to want to run away. So yeah, Montero is kind of the opposite. Where Mon Montero, it, red lock is not really that long, and you, you kind of end up putting yourself in a dangerous spots a lot. So I won't be surprised if this becomes like a front Montero. But, you know, it depends on what the enemy team's playing here. Yeah, I'm, one, I'm wondering exactly. Are they really doing this? Is, is this actually Barb Exit? Real? Yeah, it is. This is real. OK. Uh, I think in paper, you just front Montero here. Then un un like, unless they're going to actually let Montero get away with murder. But oh, god, I see G-Reco discourse in chat. I pretend not to see. All right, so let's let's uh, let's take a look at something here. Maybe not this guy. All right, so we got uh, we've got G Shadow on Kashi probably. All right. We're playing Kashi throughout the tournament, so definitely know know them mostly for playing stuff like Kashi and Penelope. Very grindy suits. Very grindy player. Nice, Kara. Yeah. Oh, catches the side movement there. Very nice. And then checkmating the Barbatos with the boost. Yo, wins? <laughs> we got tornadoes? Oh, and immediately just taking a commanding lead. Yeah, with they're on team. their last life now. We're, we're getting close to burst, too. This does not really look very good. Yeah, and, and that is wow. all she wrote. All right. And Kyo just uh, trying to speed run with Montero. Let's see if maybe we can watch Montero's POV next. Let's see. Oh, no, we can't We can't listen to Sentry Color. <laughs> but neither. Oh, Montero POV is muted. Okay, we'll take a look at... Uh, Clem Nick being muted. Okay, is such I a have tragedy. no choice then. It's either we watch Excelia, listen to Sentry Color, and risk maybe being uh, not able to upload this, or uh, we watch some more Kashi. I guess we're watching some more Kashi. I think Gundam Hathaway is pretty cool. I can't say anything because I still haven't actually watched it. Dang. Yeah, I, I'll I'll watch it when I have time. It's just been too busy for the last two years, I guess. I think it's Ike for uh, a follow-up to a movie that took me four watches to finally think that I like it. I think you're gaslighting yourself, but... Oh, in terms of Shark's Counter-Attack? I'm definitely a known Shark's Counter-Attack hater. So uh, here's the thing. I'm not going to say I like or love Shark's Counter-Attack, but I appreciate it now, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's pretty colors. Yeah. It is pretty colors. Jolly Bee's advertisements. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I saw, I saw the pumpkin head. I saw the pumpkin head, yeah. Man. Nice movie. 10 out of 10. Would watch again. It still messes me up that that pumpkin head meme is, like, one state over from, like, where I live. Wait, is it? It was made in Tennessee. It was made It was oh, uh, on the CW. That's godlike. It's so godlike. I wonder if they're, like, that person has ever come out to say, like, I was the pumpkin man. <laughs> I haven't watched it. I will say one thing about Tomochan as a girl. I think it's super cool 
that uh, for one of the characters in Japanese and English, they have the same seiyuu. That's so cool. Wait, they do? Yeah. There's a, a character who I believe is a foreign exchange student. In English and Japanese, same say you in oh, both that's languages. Amazing. It's so cool. Oh, yeah, I forgot. The only good thing about Bochi is Eliza. She's the best. Yeah. All right, just wanted to put that out there. Dang. Kukuri is like right there. <laughs> Watashi Eliza. <laughs> Watashi Eliza does. Injected straight in my veins. All right. So, game <laughs> two, Kyo and G Shadow. Oh, immediately catches the Vernier yeah, on the we're, main. We're grinding. Oh, just calling out almost every Vernier? Doesn't quite get the punish on Excelia there. Barbatos is bleeding. All right, we are trying to speed run here. Yeah, we are going in. Yo, the G Shadow is going for the RTA. They're going. They're on world record pace. Ooh! This I like is it. so much damage. All right, so the, the mode's down. Yeah. So G-Shadow ain't moving quite as fast. That's a huge whiff super from Excelia. We got exploding funnels again. Just chucking stuff. Oh yeah, that forced out the uh, full, full S burst from Barbatos. Uh -huh. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Oh God. <laughs> And then Montero from Kyo cleans it up. Yeah, uh, Kyo is just trying to, he's uh, being considerate of the bracket runners. Thank you, Kyo. We'll finally be, I'll be able to go to sleep on time tonight for uh, my 10 and a.m. That, that, was loser, that was winner semis. So we still got like one, two, three, four. I, we still got like eight-ish matches left, I think. Hold up. Yeah, we've got, oh, we got nine matches left. Yeah, we got, we got, I guess that was the ninth. All right. So I think we're going to finish up this uh, loser's quarterfinals, I think. We've got uh, Gandorf and Sonoshi versus the one and only Shadow Wizard, Money Gang, and oh. Mao Zedong. And then we've got Witch Hazel and Thorn the Letter versus Kojak and Wiseman. So I'm going to say right now, just on paper, Shadow Wizard, Money Gang. I think they're going to have their work cut out for them with this match. For sure. Yeah, I think it's going to be a tough one. Really? They are the underdogs. Exactly. It's going to be a bit of a tough one, I think. But uh, <laughs> I feel like I've, they've been making some miracles throughout the bracket. So I think, you know, it's they definitely still got a shot at this. But Look, if you're making top eight with heavy arms EW, like, you have to be able to be making some miracles. You really are a wizard. Yeah. Well, looking forward to it. We are we're at top eight. We are getting close to that top four. I can taste it. I just started looking out into the crowd, and there's a Fumo just staring at us. Is there? <laughs> right there. There it is. It's so <laughs> cursed. <laughs> I looked over, and she just turned toward us. <laughs> oh, my god. Oh. All right. Truly yeah, a blur not, bracket for not a sure, time. Not sure how this lo lower bracket, this loose bracket going to play out. So, yeah, I think it's going to be an interesting one. All right, so we're getting our button checks here. What track is this? Oh, God. All right, so it looks like we're actually going to skip, I think, and we're going to... Yeah, it looks like we're uh, going to Ganondorf, Sonoshi, Wizard, Shadow, Money Gang. Yep. All right. Oh, it's the Hathaway BGM. Oh, is that what that's? that's yeah. Is? Okay, okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. How'd you move? All right. Yeah, so we got the one, the Still only... Right we got the heavy arms. Let's see what else we are going to be seeing. With. Well, we can't listen to that. Yeah, we got uh, this is Sonoshi has been repping this uh, red frame Kai. Oh, yeah. Or Dragon. Oh, no, this, this is Kai, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is Kai. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Hey! Solar Flare! Solar Flare! It's kind of funny how like cute the animation is. He's like, eh, hey. 
Let's go. Yeah. Hi. I love it. It's so All good. Right. Looks like they're, they're kind of ready to go. Like, what would, what would we have done if we had more people in the bracket? We would have just been here all night. Si we would simply perish. That's all there is to it. All right, let's do it. I'm digging the BGM. No, yeah, this is... I need to know what it is. It sounds so Falcom, but I can't put my finger on it, and it's so frustrating. I... Yeah, I don't know. Who's, uh, well, it's Ko you can just ask Kojak, right? He knows. That is true. Gonna have to hit that man up. Probably gonna get dinner. Right, I know for a go. fact I'm getting drinks with that dude later. Here it's gonna be a go. good time. Oh, oh, they're both playing heavy arm. Oh, oh let's go! You get enough. Troa Barton versus Troa Barton. Who's the real clown here? It's a duel of heavy arms. Is it a duel of heavy arms or a duel of sand rocks? <laughs> That's the real question. Oh, tries to get a big punish but gets cut by the heavy arms. Pressures their own partner. Oh, that BC would have been huge. We got a lot of stuff on the screen. Whoa! Okay, it's it's the melee square. <laughs> oh, dangerous! All right, we we, we get out of this. All right, here we go. That's Disney on ice. Oh, there was too much going on there. Oh. All right, our last our last life here. Uh oh, here comes Red Frame. Oh, are you dead? Yeah. Oh my God, you just exploded. Ow. Gonzo, I felt, I felt that one. Paris, Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Whose PS4 is that? I don't know! Our way. Our way, you are cursed! Where's that guy? Our way is so cursed! Alright, we can't watch that PS4 anymore. We're uh. All right, no more, no more watching ROA's PS4. Don't give me an excuse to do my Kira impression. I'll never be allowed on commentary again. Okay, we'll watch the other heavy arms. That would be a funny like viewer incentive. It's like donate enough, and we'll make people do do the Kira, Kira cry. cry. Oh, you you'd make so much money. Like when's the Gundam uh, STDQ? <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely our incentive, right? Exactly. I just imagine like you know all of us on the couch, there's like five of us, and we all have to do the, the care cry together. Like, oh my god, that's that's a karaoke night right there. Yeah. All right, we got an evasion. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. There's so much spaghetti and missiles right here. All right, we're just chucking CSAs. It's just Disney on ice. We're just throwing bullets and missiles everywhere. X1 comes in overcosted. Still have E-burst too. All right, here comes the E-burst. Good evasion, but just okay, well, X1 frame. just gets dumped off screen. And we got yeah, the so, uppercut. So, so now she's the red frame. Yeah, so now she's the red frame. Yeah. All right, so that does look like the end of the run for Team uh, Shadow Wizard Money Gang. And Mao Zedong. Can we get some 07s in chat for Shadow Wizard Money Gang, who definitely, I think, found some fans tonight? Yeah, some big, big props to one of the greatest uh, player names I've seen in quite a while. The greatest player names and the bravery to bring Heavy Arms EW into yeah, a bracket. It's going to be tough to top that one this weekend. That's all I got to say. For real. Uh, next up here, our last losers match of quarterfinals before we get to our top. Uh, our top six, I guess, here. Uh, we got Witch Hazel and Thorn the Letter versus Kojak and Wiseman coming up here. Oh wait, no, never mind. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do. Sorry, uh, we're we're just running through the next match in uh, uh, Gandorf's side. So this is to make top four. Gotcha. So, uh, they're running the gauntlet here. White Beast and uh, Riven. 
have been winning on deck here in losers and now they're going to fight uh, Gandorf and Sanoshi. Here we go. Yeah, so th this, this match should be pretty interesting. <coughs> the wires. No, yeah, yes. when it comes to when it comes to running Gundam locally, depending on how quick you get that set up together, it can look like a little bit of a rat's nest cuz you have like you have like a network switch and like ethernet cables everywhere and it is it is wild. A splitter for every single PS4. Yep. Woo. Oh god, I'm remembering Climax where we were constantly having like power issues. Yeah. Like PS4 shutting off mid-match. Yep, yep. Oh my god. Gundam is just logistically such a hard game to run. All right. Looks like players are just uh, finishing up their button checks, and then uh, we'll be good to jump in here. All right. And the so we should be seeing... Uh, Riven White Beast and uh, was it Sonoshi Ganondorf? Yeah. yeah. I'm kind of curious what they're going to run. Sonoshi's felt really confident in the uh, the Red Frank Kai, but we'll see. I was trying to remember. They also pulled out a full saber early on, didn't they? That, I think that's Ganondorf playing full saber. Because I think, I think uh, full saber. Oh, they're pulling yeah. out. No, I, like I think Ganondorf freedom. is the one playing uh, full <laughs> saber here. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking. Full Saber in a hot scramble does not feel like a terrible matchup to go into. Actually, maybe not. Actually, because I, I think T1 is. Whoa. I think I think T1 is. Uh, this, this might be Sanochi then. I don't know. Actually, I, I'm not sure. It felt different though. I I, I feel like this is Scandor. All right. So just they're taking this real okay, slow. Yeah, 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 I can yeah. respect it. Poking with the AC, no dice. I mean, both of these suits, hot scramble and. Uh, and uh oh. Oh, just. Okay, slap on the wrist. Oh, that's juicy, though. That's where it is. Down sub. Doesn't look like it finds anything. Two sub. Oh, oh eight sub. Such or, sorry, a good ABC. AC on the self defense there. I, I was actually expecting down BC. Same. Yeah, but, you know, the co ABC, it, it beats a lot of things anyway, so it, it makes oh, sense. Oh, neutral yeah. BC. I feel like that might have been a bit of a misinput there. And suddenly this went from being relatively in Sanoshi and Ganondorf's favor to they have having taken a on lot Oki, of though, So they're just trying to press. Really? Oh, I'm they didn't go for the push? Yeah. Uh, we'll say we're trying to do something a little maybe too sneaky there. Oh, I, now they're so low that that burst might yeah, not be worth spending here. It's very low, though. So they have burst. Oh, interesting. Ooh. I think he's going to leave him alone there. I don't think he's going to be able to help. Yeah. Like... All right, uh, dies, yeah. but uh, should be coming back with close to full. Might have been afraid of getting overcosted, just wanted to die. I can respect it. And now Freedom has to play back for oh, a little bit hit. longer. Oh, nice. Not enough to Doesn't kill. Doesn't get the down. Yeah, he's too scared to confirm it, I think. And we're popping. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, my God, oh, Excelia. what a punish. We're still in that first, though, so... All right, they right. have a little bit of effort oh, left. Yeah. And another main from Excelia. All of that effort from Full Saber wasted. It's so well, unfortunate. Enemy team's health is very imbalanced still, though, so they definitely do have a shot of this. But, yeah, it's a little bit uphill now. Yeah. <sighs> still can, still doable, though. Yeah, if it, also, if Full Saber does play this perfectly, they could. Oh, okay, there we go. They got the OC. They got the OC. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Here okay, we okay. go, here we go, here we go. This is big, this is big. Excelia going in, just trying to get a look at him. Wow, he's ignoring full saber, full saber, full hit. E burst to flip. Forces the E burst. Here comes the F burst from Hot Scramble, oh. and they got it! Oh my god! It's full up and down. Let's go! I mean, they were ahead in the beginning. They kind of let things slip, and then they were able to pull it back, uh, take advantage of that overcost tempo. No, yeah, they really. Really went in on the tempo there. That yeah. was so impressive. Cl Such clutch, good awareness. Clutch sub from Sonoshi, though, to finish it there. God. That's pretty important that that connects. Because I, I don't know if it was guaranteed that uh, Gandorf was going to be able to actually get that peel. So, yeah, clutching out the sub was really huge there. For real. All right. So, going back into it, game two. Let me see if uh, we can take a look at a hot scrambles POV maybe here. Oh, uh, the, no, never mind. The cursed okay. POV. Let's, uh, oh, we can take a look at. Uh, the free we haven't actually seen Freedom yet today on the POV, so maybe take a look at that. Yeah, definitely an interesting suit. Very fundamental. 
Has a lot of tools, all of them relatively good. And able to just kind of push into you with that ridiculous sub of his. Uh-oh. This might be Punisher. Oh! Oh, you know, that's, that's pretty okay, though. They were able to get some damage off of that. Yeah, so. that was a very good struggle there. But the it end. might, Freedom might be dying first here. It's, it's, uh, it's a little iffy. Uh. They definitely don't want to put themselves in a situation that that uh, the opponents were in last game. So I also just realized this Freedom is actually running S-Burst. Yeah. Oh, doesn't quite get the movement yeah, there. So they need a little more definitely of a dying first here, I think. Oh, okay. Very oh, clutch hit. That was huge. Oh, okay. No, he's going to give him the life. At this point, like, why not, right? Your partner is just as low as you are. He goes down first. But we got to be pretty careful here now. Yeah, Freedom is not allowed to make any mistakes here. They have to play perfectly to let their partner get another burst and get another chance to go in. Yeah, but I don't think Gandorf used Burst on his first wife, so I think he has one on deck here. Just kind of oh. waiting for him to use it in Aggress. Get a knockdown. Well, if they're waiting for him to use it in Aggress, they're already at Half-Life. They're running out of time. Yeah, I missed it. Maybe, maybe, oh, really? Seed okay, mode. We're, just, we're just trying to make a play here. All There's right. the Burst. Burst from full Saber. At their current HP, it's going to be a little difficult, I think, for them to get another. Yeah, we are, we are not really very close, but okay. Oh, just I popping the S-Burst yeah. here. I think we get this hit at least. Oh, no. Oh, that's huge. Oh. They died in Burst. Okay. Oh, and they couldn't get the peel from full Saber because of the bits from Excelia. Oh, but Huskerable Huff might die twice here. Yeah, Huskerable very low. Oh, oh my god. Sub. Oh, my god. Just catches the so two subs. <laughs> they hit two sub being like, I'm going to be fine. I'm not going to die. And then they just get deleted. Yeah. Wow. Uh, not, I was not expecting that. That's really not how I was expecting the, that match uh, to end. But yeah. Yeah, Freedom. <laughs> freedom dealing some, some real damage there. I was definitely a bit worried after we died in Esper. This is a very precarious place to be in. But uh, no, both times, real. yeah. Uh, Sonoshi... Freedom, uh, clutching out both of those games, yeah. I, I am still shocked that, like, I, I felt that that two sub wasn't exactly, like, a bad decision overall. I didn't think they'd get absolutely deleted for that. Well, the tooth, yeah, the toothpaste in particular is, like, it's pretty big. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. And it, yeah, it's, <laughs> did a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I might have done a little more because we were at low HP, so, you know, the guts paration, I guess. Yeah. But, I mean, that's not that much more, so I know, yeah. But uh, in any case, now we're going to switch back to, I think, uh, Witch Hazel and Thorn, the letter, versus Kojak and Wiseman, yeah. Oh, and then the yeah. winner of this match is going to fight versus uh, Kid and Chris Bardo, yeah. Hey, yo, shout-outs to Metallic Buttons. Yeah. I think I probably have the same ones on my stick. Those are probably the Sanwa medals. Yeah. No, yeah, I have the same in mine, actually. Yeah. I, had to, I had to replace them recently because I, I was using uh, transparent Sanwas. Oh, never use transparent Sanwas. Dude, I was Those literally, things. I hit, I was playing Sin and Strive. Yeah. I hit DP and, like, my button sunk into my stick. Wow, yeah. Yo, we, what's that theme? <laughs> it's the rain theme. All right. I'm, about to, I'm about to tackle Kojak after this tournament's over. Be like, what is this OST? I need to know. All right, here we go. Kapool? <laughs> There's no way. I like GX. I like GX a lot. I'm not sure if I'm so hot on Death Scythe or Shining or Victory. They're playing with us here. They're playing with my expectations. All They're right, playing with yeah. my dreams. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm high on Kubele, yeah. OK, no, that's, that's actually pretty standard. The suspense is gone now. See uh, what we're looking at here. Interesting. Kubile Psycho Zaku versus uh, versus Hot Scramble Psycho Strike Noir. Okay. Yeah, Hot Scramble Strike Noir, pretty like like a relatively normal comp, but going for the I'm assuming like a double time on comp here. Just double yeah, one v one. I am like not really sure about this comp. And A mode. Hmm. 
Ooh. Uh... Oh, Cubelay is getting absolutely deleted right now. Let's see how his partner is doing. Oh, wake up melee, the wake up DP. A uh, bit of a Vernier on the machine gun. Doesn't quite get punished there, but just gets hit with the rail gun right after. Yeah, this is not looking very hot. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. yeah. And then immediately di dying on both Speed sides. running. We're looking at an RTA right here. Yeah, we are can't help our partner here. Our partner flips out. Last life. Forces to, to use the e Yeah, do something, but... I think Kimberly's dead right here, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's just not much you can do in that situation. Whew. All right, very fast game one. What do we want to do? What are our adjustments? It's okay, just, just talk it out, collect yourselves. Maybe come at it from another angle. Yeah, maybe a 3,000, I'm thinking. Maybe a 3, yeah, yeah maybe a 3K 2.5. I'm liking a 3,000 here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Gotta protect the stream. Must protect the stream. <laughs> Not there all heroes go. work ahead. Man. Show us if it Shout out to Strike North CSB. It's a pretty cool move. Yeah. I it remember back in Full Boost, this was the suit that I wanted to learn, and I felt like I was breaking my hands. Oh, we're, we're going down a cost here. Oh! Yeah, Kshatriya, gonna play some defense. Okay. See how this fares. Last game, the Strike Nora was pretty in there. Let's see how we play this one out. Yeah, we are running straight at them, landing those mains. Yeah, immediately Strike Nora just going for blood. Getting dumped a little bit by that machine gun, but finding the punish right afterwards. Yeah. Nice. Big bully, oh, huge. No. What? He whiffed, yeah. He, oh, that's so unfortunate. Yeah, he stepped the anchor into green lock, so his melee whiff. That's unfortunate. But it's okay. He did the real strike nor melee combo, which is real gun rail I just impressed the Psycho Gundam was, like, pressing buttons to punish it. That was funny. Oh, my God. They are just chucking out these wires. All right, we're out of juice. Oh, they're going up. Yep. Railgun, railgun! The real melee combo. Anchor, yep. Oh my god, anchor into funnels. Nice, more anchor. We got a uh, burst gear. Oh my god, oh it's dangerous. I think we're gonna get away with it though. Oh my god! <laughs> no I, fear! That, I am very impressed. I'm Absolutely very impressed. no fear. That, <laughs> and the hot scramble super ends it. Quick, decisive 2 0. All right, and I think they're going to stay on. Winners are going to stay on, and they're going to fight against uh, Kid and Chris Bardo. Here all we go. All right. Also, that stick is sending me all the way back to 2008. That is a classic stick from that era. Yeah. The the old Street Fighter 4 Tournament Edition. Yeah, you know, I actually had one of those. Uh, yeah, I had. What was it called? Like it wasn't. Uh, it was the Mad Cats that wasn't a TE. It was like oh, a the standard one. edition. Oh, was that standard? Yeah, I had yeah. the SE two. Like I, I had, I had. A, I mean, I had like my eight traps, but I did. I think I like got a standard edition on the cheap. Yeah. So like that was my secondary stick for a while. Those were great sticks for modding. For modding, they were yeah. Their and then they ended up re-releasing really them awful, later. But yeah. As like the WWE Brawler stick. Yeah, that was a good era where. Companies just kind of release sticks with all kinds of different skins. That was pretty interesting. And like in general, that, that's when they learned, hey, we can actually put good parts in these sticks, and it, people will buy them. Like the a, the the A trap like two had what? It had a uh, so there was like I think the Tekken five version. Yeah. And then there's the Fate Unlimited Codes version, I think, as well. Wait, there was a there was a Fate Unlimited Codes version? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. There was a there was a Fate Unlimited Codes H route. That yes. I feel like I'm gonna have to hunt the globe for that. And then there's a there's the Arcana Heart one as well. Yeah, I knew about that uh, one. and I think that there was a Aquapaza H trap. Three, maybe? That sounds right. 
Yeah, they, they, they were, they were all, they, they, each round, Hori did a lot of, like, game specific. Uh, stick releases. Do you remember the Atrap 4 that they released for Reimu and Marisa? I don't think I actually saw that one. I think I heard of it, but I never actually seen it. Yeah, they released these Atraps that were red and blue, red for Reimu, and then blue for Marisa, and they were all like monochrome single color, and they looked sick. Like, the, like if I had like a wish list of sticks that I wanted to own, it's like those two, and then maybe like the Fate Unlimited Codes one. And then like that, you know that one Guilty Gear X third PS4 stick? Yeah. You're, are you talking about the one that's like flat? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, I think so if one, I had a chance can, to get one of those. Win that because I, I one of my locals uh, he got one from winning something. Yeah. Like and you can buy it too, but yeah. Yeah, that's one of those sticks where if I had the opportunity, I would go in on that. I think that one has like a flip switch toggle for PS2 PS4. Yes, mode. it does. Yeah. It's an interesting stick. But it just looks so cool. All right, here we go. So this is, uh, is this a, to make top four. Yeah, this is to make top four here in the loser side. Let's uh, let's see what POVs we actually got here. Oh no, uh, I, I will fix that. Woo! I'm gonna watch, uh, we haven't really seen much of Suzabi. Let's, let's, let's take a look at this. Maybe we'll get a Legolas POV at some point. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm biased. If I see Sananju, I'm like, ooh, bazookas. I love this. But right now, nice I was about to say, not really getting to show yeah. off, but it's a really quick melee confirm. Yeah, that's a really solid 6v there. Oh, oh well, the shields from... gave out yeah. right at the worst possible time. Working on E-Burst with Sananju. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, their health and bursts. Excelia is quite healthy, though, so... That's a pretty good hit. Can't finish it off. With okay, if they can actually get a hit kill oh. here, that would be huge. If they, yeah. they got the kill, and that was in burst. So this is actually huge for Sananju here. Yeah, th those are really good e burst actually. It just I don't think he would have had the the burst to win that exchange otherwise. The boost, and, but yeah, it's you know underestimating uh, Sananju sub is what it is. Wow. Okay. Oh. And actually gets a huge confirm off of that Sananju. Yep. Great sub, great neutral, not a lot of health. Yeah, not in the best place. Even with these shield bits, we're just racking up damage here. Oh, yeah, they might be going for a double kill on Sananju here. Sananju kind of yeah. has to make himself scarce. Okay. All right, E bursts out. Still trying to go in. Well, if they can. Uh, he's not dead. Oh, my God. That OTG. That desperately that hill? trying to kill Strike Noir, but. Yeah. Uh, that you got to run. Sometimes the way you win the fight isn't to win, it's to not lose. You gotta run. Get out of there. Yeah, Exelia still had a you know fair amount of life left, and yeah. Are they going back into it? No, no suit swapping. Oh. All right. All right. Yeah, they're going in. So let's look at Strike Noir on the other team then. All right. All right. We didn't. We, I feel like uh, Shinanju really put themselves in a rough spot in the previous game, so it's definitely something they can adjust. We'll, we'll see how this goes. There can definitely be some adjustments made, but I feel in general, Shinanju will be fighting a bit of an uphill battle in a lot of this, just having to make his way in. Because Bazooka can only do so much, because it's not up all the time. Yeah, Strike Noir doing a really good job of supporting here. Has barely gotten touched and has been uh, laying a lot of healing, a lot of cuts. Oh, and Sananju yeah. just having taken so much CSB damage. even hit Excelia there in the back. Crazy. Like, we're getting these two for ones. Oh that might hit. God. Oh, such good evasion and movement here. Very Using the Bazooka to keep themselves evasive, but just cannot touch Strike Noir. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shield bits might protect here. Overheat. Oh, they yes. ran out of ammo for the bazooka and just get caught on the Vernier with the AC from Strike Nor. Yeah, that's like unfortunate. It's usually you want to do side sub if you not do, but if you run out of ammo, not only do you not get a side sub, but you stand still because it's, it's giving you an MD5 sub. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, Strike Nor is still being very responsible here, not putting himself in danger. Not putting themselves yeah. in danger, but just constantly just 
peppering with just a barrage of stuff. Making movement just generally hard for everyone involved, just staying right at the edge of Redlock. Probably gonna try to make themselves scarce here. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. We oh. get this cut. Severing in with the, get the cut. Oh. This is the E first out of Sananju. This is do or die here. Yeah, that was not gonna play out well for the enemy team. Ooh. All right, that's two, which means I think we're going to winner's finals. Winner's finals? We got... Ooh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, as long as they're doing this in the right order. It should be winner's finals. All right. And winner's finals is... It's J.U. and ROA versus Kyo and G-Shadow. Oh, my God. This is going to be a set. I don't know. I guess pointed to. Uh, but yeah, it sh it winners final should should be next. Uh, J R Wave versus Kyo G Shadow. So it's definitely gonna be J uh, G Shadow Kushi. I think like we've seen G Shadow on this Kushi the whole day. But um, it's but yeah. looking like yeah. we're gonna be going into a quick ad break. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna think about this matchup upcoming. But let's take a break first, and then we'll we'll get back to the action. Yeah. Oh, okay. It sounds and like we're back. Yeah, looks like we're back. And it's looking like we're going right into winner's finals here in just yep. a second. I am ready. We got our players sit down. Hope everyone enjoyed their government-mandated advertisement <laughs> break. We are we are getting close. We are getting close here. Uh, this match is going to be a good one. I, I've been looking forward to seeing this match, and it's 3 out of 5, so that's all I can really ask for. Penelope from our way, it looks like. Penelope from our way. Ju most likely playing GPO3. I've seen him mess around with, uh, uh, not Dynamis, uh, the other sniper suit. Karadim? Yeah, Karadim. I know they have a Karadim, yeah, and their Karadim's also super Karadim solid. As well. It's looking like GPO3 the whole way, though. With yeah, the GPO3 has yeah. been looking mad solid. And are you going to be seeing him on title? The Klim Nick of Legends. So this Montero pick, it, if it's the Montero pick, uh, I, I think I really think he should play S if he's going to play Montero here. But Ooh. I think that this is just we're going to 1v1 uh, GPO3. Just be a big bully. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what this pick feels like to me. Like, he's saying Marasai, like, the Marasai neutrals, not going to be enough for Penelope GPO3. He wants to bring the fight. I think Montero is good here too, but just with Kashi, I'm a little worried about that comp. I mean, the way I see it is if they end up having to focus a lot on Kashi, that can free up uh, Montero to kind of be a hunter and just really just dive after a GPO3. I feel like Montero's going to get double locked a lot here. I feel like Outside of like Penelope CSA or something, like a, a well timed step BD can be enough to. Or sorry, not Penelope, uh, Kashi. Like, yeah, well timed step BD, step BC from either of these suits can go a long way to kind of ignoring and double locking Montero. So. I think it might just really depend on how long Penelope can keep their pants on. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we'll see. Because I think if Penelope can keep that pressure up and keep uh, keep their eyes on him, See if I can, that's gonna yeah, be the so. that's gonna be the big difference maker here. That's gonna yeah. be the big playmaker. I'm gonna look at Montero here because I think this is uh, it's pretty critical how this Montero ends up playing out. Yeah, especially in this first game. Like, if we're gonna play careful, we're just gonna move in. 
Because it's 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 gonna be about like when we get the chance here, are we gonna try and get on GPO three basically? Are we oh, trying they're to already getting duffed yeah, with I some mean, incidental damage here. Yeah, it ma it makes sense. Our red lock range is short, and you know we we only have Ooh. one on <laughs> Yo, shout out to buildings. Sub? Oh, he wanted to sub, but yeah, rockets, very good missiles. Yeah, very hard to burn here when you have so many missiles and just stuff getting thrown at you from Penelope. Yeah, when we're out of sub, it's like. All right. And so far, ROA just being so commanding here, having barely taken any damage, staying in relatively full control. I say that and immediately gets duffed with two downs. Yeah. Uh, Kushi, very close to burst, I think. Has it? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, hang on. They have to put, try to put the pressure here, but... Trying to pressure Odysseus is pretty hard because that sub is excellent for self-defense. Yeah. Oh, but they're managing it. They got the double lock on Odysseus. Yeah, but Ju is so healthy still. Ju's doing such a good job here. Of, yeah, mistimed our sub a little bit here. Trying to... Oh, that was almost nice, yeah. but not quite. They could even go for OC if they want to, but I don't think... Oh, that's that big. Okay. They actually killed Odysseus in S first. Yeah. They might actually be tempted to get OC. Okay, no. So G Shadow goes down. We have E, this is, yeah, like, I, I really like S here instead, but. Oh, it just runs into the like, missile. This is a, not a great place to have E-verse. Because it's not like the enemy team is super aggressive. They're not trying to run momentum game. So this E-verse choice here, I, I, I just feel is a, a bit of a waste. Like, look, we died oh, and we, yeah. we have now full E-verse. Now we have full E, that's it's really unfortunate with the amount of health that they have left. I don't even think they'll... Oh, they just dumped their partner with their side sub. Yeah, this is still winnable if they get on GPO3, but it, Montero has to be really clutch here. All right, here we go. This burst is going to be the big playmaker. Yo, got it. Oh, good landing punish. GPO3 is going to come in with very little health remaining. Yeah, I don't I don't know oh. why he didn't look for the spawn either, but the, there, he's going. A uh, sub right... Oh, oh here we go! The sub catches, yeah, and that is yeah, going to be yeah. it! Game one going to Kyo and Z-Shadow. Yeah, Ju I think got a little, a uh, little over, e a little overconfident there. Um, I really don't think they should have lost that game, but uh, Ju had a bad E burst because he didn't E burst the second time. So I wasn't paying attention to where that first E was, but um, yeah, definitely kind of. It was their game to lose, you know, and uh, Ju was just not careful enough about health. Yeah, not to mention with how much height they had gotten and just vernearing there uh, anywhere near especially Montero. Especially with Penelope. With Penelope, you don't you can take it slow. You know, you don't need to force it. Yeah. They broke cannon. Yeah. All right, so take a look at uh, G Shadow's Kashi here instead. All right, so we're gonna be taking this slow until they eventually pop Minovsky, which should be in about I'd say fifty, like ten seconds. Yeah, I mean, our game plan is literally just like Omicron around, do CSB main, throw out subs sometimes, and then when we have uh, when we have Minovsky, try and, you know, put some pressure, but... All right, we're in gamer mode, fellas. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, and already Arway's pants are off. So this is very big. Yeah, they're, they're doing well, but as as mentioned before, Montero is pretty low. It's uh, It should be a front Montero if, they, if they're respecting their opponent's... Uh, Ability to try and pressure, but we'll see. Oh, big one from the Garo. Yeah. G Shadow immediately disengaging. There's no more Minovsky, so they kind of just have to chill here for a bit. Oh. Uh, that doesn't really do much damage. It's friendly fire Garo. It's not a big deal. The Plus the damage, more the positioning. Yeah. It looks like it's working out okay. Big oh. burst forces the E, and it's like back. It's you know it's the fight of the of the fronts of the back suit. Sorry. Yeah. It's like it's. Yeah, the backs are scrapping yeah, at this J point. J versus Montero here. Once again, just that image of the Simpsons. Oh no! Yeah, it's any. It, it's it's pretty rough around the edges now in general. Yeah, G Shadow's taking a lot of damage. The health values are getting closer and closer in Based value. Based on the premium ma match, I think Montero actually wants to give his partner another life. So. Oh, good blocks from ROA. Surprised to see block in this kind of matchup. It's like what a dangerous. Uh, whoa. What a dangerous kind of comp to try and block against. All right, avoids the Garrow, oh, but G-Shadow yeah, is burst. just getting double locked. They're going to stay yeah. down as long as possible. Make their escape. Trying to find a punish on J.U. Excellent block from J.U. Garrow too early, Ooh, unfortunately, and that's a punish. That's huge. 
Yeah. Went for the landing punish, but went slightly too soon. All and right, now G Shadow's so a bit yeah, of a disadvantage. Kyo, Kyo and Montero is just going to try and win the game. But uh, they again, it's it's can Jay live, basically. If Jay can live, then I think the game is over. But we do have this full Esper. So if I was them, I would I would actually wait to see if they can do a little more damage to GPO3. And then when he spawns, pop Esper. Oh, but he has me asking. He might pop, he might pop it here. Ooh. Uh, I think he's going to pop it here. Yeah. yeah. And it's a full burst, so he might be able to get oh, Jay you in all of it. Oh, he's oh alive. my he's god! Alive. Oh, and Jay's alive. Oh, Jay's dead, but 12 HP, S burst is running out. Nice. All right. From They're going to try to checkmate with this S burst. No, he's going to be okay here. He's going for it. Oh, the Minoski! Oh, he, he might, he he might just go for Oh, this punish, movement, and that. they get their landing yeah. punished by ROA. <laughs> Yeah, Montero, I I don't really like the Montero pick. I, I, I think... It's so hard for him to make the space to get into red lock distance. It's like you've got three people who are willing to grind, and then you got Montero, who is who can play slow with sub, but you're putting yourself in such a close proximity compared to the other three suits. Like, the other three suits in this game, they don't need to be close at all. You got Penelope, Monte or Penelope, Kushi, and GPO3, okay? None of these suits are, like, are, need to do anything. And then you got Montero. It's just the odd one out here. And, like, it, I think it can work, but I don't really feel like the focus is uh, playing into their strengths. Like, I'd be more confident than Montero pick if we switch from Kushi to something more aggressive. No, that makes a lot more sense. If they were trying to really push in and just gather attention, yeah. Rather than just trying to grind this out. Like I don't I don't I don't actually think uh G Shadow is really making too many errors here. It's just a natural flow of the game that Montero's gonna take damage. Like it's <laughs> it's it's not really about like being clutch or whatever. It's like this dude is in the front, like Montero is fronting, you know. Like, Montero, Montero has Montero's to front right and it just yeah. all ends up determining yeah. who's yeah. taking the bigger trades a lot yeah, of the time. So. That, oh. that was that was close. All right, a little bit of incidental damage here for G Shadow, but still looking uh -oh. relatively. Accidental step, but it's okay. No punish. <laughs> but you know they can buy time. Like they, they, they can. They are the ones in this in this team. Like she has the timer mode, right? Yes. So even more doubly so that I feel like the Montero picker is kind of odd. Like yeah, it's true. GPO three has has end sub and there's Penelope muscles, but we we have missiles of our own. Like we we can afford to play slow here, but it's gonna be from Montero yet again. Yeah, Montero's just trying so hard to push in on Odysseus. Yeah. Ends up eating it for a, eating it because of that. Nice, Gara from Jeyu. And once again, just the natural flow of things is it's all coming down to the trades. G Shadow might pop it versus try to take down Penelope here, but uh, uh oh! oh! Oh, it's not enough to kill! Uh, well they it's it's like doable, but it's really far. <laughs> Oh my god, our oh, way is just no, trying yeah, to play yeah, so safe. We have, safe to, give Montero, we have to give Montero three lives now. It's, uh, it, it, we have to, actually. Otherwise, it's. I don't think it's winnable otherwise. Oh, this is no future. Okay, yeah. We have one S burst. This S burst has to do yeah, your th taxes. This is like pretty wrap it up here. I don't know. I mean, we have a full S burst, but I mean, I don't know. They have to stand still to, to, to lose at this point, basically. Yeah, this S burst has to do everything. Oh, well, we actually got hit. So yeah. Yeah. All right, Montero on E. Oh, finds the hit, but just yeah, ends up getting yeah, Garrett yeah. for the that, troubles. That was, that was definitely, like, not winnable. Yeah. That was yeah. a big no-future situation. They need to not play Montero, in my opinion. I really don't like the Montero pick. From a strategic standpoint, I don't, I don't really think it's a good idea. The trades are just not working yeah, out. I, I think if they're going to do that, then uh, Kyo should just play 3,000, and G Shao should play low cost if they're going to do that. All right, it's looking like we're seeing some kind of switch up. I think she is fine, but... If Kyo's going to stay on Matero, then this swap makes sense here if it's going to be something other than... Uh... Unicorn? Yeah, they're, they're, they're all looking at it. Oh, so. yo. <laughs> yeah, the VOD strike. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll protect. Hold up. I'll protect the stream. Uh, we'll protect the stream. Unlimited Marsai. copyright works. Mar Marsai. Let's go. Marsai. Marsai, okay. All right, Kyo's going back to... To that bread and butter, to the stuff that they know. What's uh, what's the other player playing here? Oh no! Okay, he's just memeing. Okay. So is this still gonna be? Oh, Destiny. Destiny. Okay. Are we seeing Destiny? 
Oh no, they're still thinking. Destiny Marasai? Destiny I like Destiny Marasai. I, like, I like Destiny Marasai. Destiny Marasai seems good. No, it, it, so the problem is that Penelope, is, it's kind of annoying, I think, for uh, Wings of Light. Like, you're just going to get hit by football, like. You're just going to take a lot of incidental uh, damage just, just have, trying just to push have to, forward. You have to kill GPO3 here. Yeah. I, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, oh Nor, Nor, Nor. Okay, yeah, Nor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. I like this. this okay. Is cool. Yeah. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be a very different kind of grindy game. Norn POV. Okay. So, Norn Marasai. Cole, you need to donate bits if you want to see more Marasai. <laughs> so, I will I, I will be real. I didn't play a lot of full boost. So, this is a suit I'm not super familiar with a lot of the time. I mean, it's kind of what you see. We're, we have a lot of high guidance moves. Um, and we have kind of infinite ammo. Our main's reloadable, right? And our sub is really good. We have interesting movement options. Yeah, the BC movement. It, it's, a, it's a suit that neutrals. But I think the main thing is we have a, we shoot a lot of stuff. This, this 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 suit dumps out a lot of stuff in neutral. So it works out pretty well with Marasai, who's also dumping stuff. So, like, there's there's definitely missiles that we need to navigate against the enemy team. But we, we have firepower. We definitely have firepower on this team. So I, I think what we're trying to do here is we're trying to corner this team. Yeah. We're, we're trying to get Penelope and GPO3. Against the against the walls and push, get downs and, and, and just push and get out lock, and just kind of put a lot of suppressive fire, because the enemy team doesn't actually spam that much, right? They're setting stuff that's hard to dodge because of missiles and stuff, but they're, they're not actually pressing that much stuff. So th that that's how I'm seeing this approach here. We we need to like basically put pressure once again though. Marasai is low, um, you know. Ooh, and that's already the health values are just kind of all over the place. I, 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 this is not looking good. This, it, this could be the last game here because G Shadow. It's all gonna come down, I think, to G Shadow's burst, but they're already their health is so uh, low. Dangerous burst, but okay, I like. Oh, it. they're going for We're it. We're gonna try and neutralize the enemy team. It's Penelope. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. You oh, that's huge. It. Doesn't oh, like it's so a punish on Jay. He's, he's still burst. This is so dangerous. Oh. Okay, he's exited burst. Oh. Has to go for the melee. Gets taken down. Doesn't die in burst, but not a great spot to be in. Uh, Marasai is not really that healthy either. Oh, they but they get the down on okay. Penelope. That's yeah. nice. They're behind, but like it's it's winnable. They're not too far behind. If they get a couple nice hits, like they can easily make this up. Yeah, Jay, they could definitely yeah. go double kill on Penelope here. Jay, blue balls. I can't believe that didn't work. Oh my god. Oh my god. The incidental hit from Penelope actually saved G Shadow from getting landing punished there. Yeah, Gotta love friendly yeah. fire. We're we're just we're just. Covering the screen here. Our Marasai goes down. Oh, incidental hit from the beam magnum. Doesn't quite get the down, but that's a good chunk of damage on our way. Oh, two steps too far away. We have a burst at 431. That's not ideal, but you know, we make it work. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Counter burst. Counter burst. Oh no, the reload. Oh, we're going for the chase. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get this, but yeah. Oh, that was so close, but not quite. S burst doesn't really do much, and yeah, now we're not gonna get another burst without like you know a lot of blocking. So oh my god, oh! he really looked away. Oh my god, literally went right up into G Shadow's home, took everything out of their refrigerator, and just said no, shoot yeah. to the sky. Ambitious, uh, but yeah, uh, uh, Kyo needed to live, you know. God, you cannot es <laughs> boosted right into you. You can't escape. Good lord. Yeah, I mean, I think that comp swap was an interesting choice, but like even with Marsai, we didn't actually live longer than Montero, so I. Uh, I feel like it's just kind of a tough problem with the suits that they have at their disposal. I do think it's possible. I'm just trying to think of like what exactly yeah. they could have done. Marsai just needed to play safer as well. Yeah. Marsai just needed to not take so much damage. G Shadow was doing fine on Norn. It w he wasn't really like losing out too much. Gotcha. But uh, Marsai was Marsai was like a time bomb basically. He was just slowly slowly taking damage before uh, Norn could really accomplish anything. So it's not really Norn's fault there. I don't I don't I think Norn was taking space too. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, so In general, Norn was getting hits. Norn was, for the most part, I feel like almost all of their bursts were relatively effective in at least some shape or form. So the thing with Marasai is, like, 
Uh, you have Omicron, you have a lot of stuff. You, you're technically spending a lot of boost when you do those falls, so I, I think it's possible that like missiles are kind of annoying on some of those laggier landings. E like, even though you're you're Omiconing them, like just because uh, you're rainbow stepping a lot and like the sub, like or the 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 dagger toss, like it also costs boost. Yeah. So I feel like Marsai actually is can often like trick you into spending too much boost when you don't actually need to. Because gotcha. he has like a lot of ways to spam stuff and then you in your head you're like, oh well I have Omicron. So I'm gonna like, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna main dagger, like step main dagger, you know, I'm gonna do all this stuff and then Omicron at the end of it. But then like when you do that, your boost is just like gone. Yeah, all of a sudden it's just yeah. like, haha, I'm going to do all these uh, things. Wait, I have two K so boost. Oh a no. A lot of the time that's fine. Uh but like when you when that's happening and there's also like Penelope missiles happening and and things like that. Like I I can see that we did I didn't really get to see the Mars like POV, so I don't know exactly what happened. But it looked like we were just getting hit by footballs and just like not not positioning ourselves safe enough. Yeah, so. just having to take a lot of incidental damage from just not having safe enough movement. I got to protect the stream. Uh oh. Uh, protecting the stream. Um. Yeah, well, we'll see more of them because uh, they are in they Losers are in Losers Finals, finals yeah. and we'll be playing the winner of this set. Yeah, so I mean, they can think on this. You know, they they have time to think about what went wrong in that set, but I think it was um, I think it was mainly on on Kill there. Um, yeah. All right, so we are looking at Sanoshi Ganondorf. And my homie Kojak. Yes. Kojak and Francie. Kojak in France. Yeah, this should also be an interesting match here. But not sure how this is gonna, this one's gonna play out. Kind of depends, I think, on like what uh, what Gandor's playing here, because they kind of they kind of been floating around with some different. Uh, Different, different comps. Yeah, I feel like whenever they've been like super serious, it's always been the full saber, and it's looking like that's what they're sticking with—the yeah. full saber freedom. Uh, oh, the sound die? Yeah. M Maji. Maji Kaya. Uh, I think the sound died again. Uh. Well, that's awkward. Well. Maybe I'll try a different. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, they're all muted. Okay. Well, it's okay. We can uh, we can watch this without sound because the game is deep enough that you know that's not a big deal. No, yeah, exactly. You have to <laughs> yeah, start making your own yeah, sound yeah, effects. Yeah, yeah. I thought about uh, it. So, who's playing Hot Scramble? Here's a Kojak. I believe uh, it would be Kojak. Okay, yeah. So, I think actually, did we see? Did these two play each other earlier in the bracket? Uh, did they play the winner's side? Maybe. I cannot remember. Uh, cause I do remember. Oh, uh, they did not. No. Okay. Kojak okay. and Wiseman actually got knocked out first round versus Kyo and Show. Yeah, I we might have been mistaking them for uh, White Beast. Oh, uh, White Beast. Yeah, cause I was like, I know that there was this. There's been a lot of hot scramble. Yeah, this matchup appeared earlier. Oh, that was a big sequence there for a hot yeah. scramble. Getting a lot of damage on the full saber here early yeah, on. But, you know, Ko Kojak definitely uh, proactively using that sub to take landings. So we'll we'll see. But yeah, I don't think we got sound on any of these POVs. Yeah. But uh, let's see if see, watch the full saber here. Full saber on his last life. We have a full F burst almost, very close to one. All Just right, full down. F burst. Yeah. And this is gonna be a good position for them. Trying to capitalize on that landing. Doesn't actually go in for you it. Might save it for Strike Noir, but no. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I like it on Strike Noir here. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a huge sequence. Ends up getting punished for it without using oh, that burst, though. Oh, no. Yeah, it's kind of great. Yeah, now at this point, like, they're just only going to get this one burst, and it's going to be incredibly awkward. We got sound again. Oh, there's a mute button. Okay. Well, I accidentally hit it. My bad. Nice. All right, well, this is the only burst that you're going to get, so you got to make this count. Oh, they went for the YOLO super, quantizing like a coward. Oh, they didn't stay down. Oh, oh, the AC and it's over. When you see the freeze frame and your HP is at zero, that's so defeating. No, let's get that, let's get that end sound out of here. 
Alright. <laughs> not, not going for the cursed Kira yeah, cry not, medley? We're not listening to the, the Kira cry. God, why, why do we have such a color? Y'all are so whack. <laughs> People need to replace their music, man. Uh, I see this switch to Eclipse from Gandorf, maybe? Oh, I, I saw almost a God Gundam there for a sec. Yo, Strike Freedom? I think Full Saber is fine. No, I legitimately think Full Saber works in this matchup. I think Full Saber is fine. I think they should just try it again. Well, yeah, I I it's two out of three. Yo, Fumo Power! Fumo Power! Mm. Yeah! With freedom in the back. I mean, I think this. I think full saber freedom is fine, but. Oh, is that real? Hey, yo. Shining goo? Yo, we're really seeing some shining. This hand of mine glows with awesome power. <laughs> yo, this is. Uh, oh, this is too real. All right. So I think this is Gandor's shining. Yeah, they're, they're going all in with this comp. This is definitely double 1v1, all or nothing. This is the Makoto of Gundam. I mean, it's okay, we just build power when we get hit anyways. Hurt me more, Snake. It makes me stronger. Yo, Vulcan's actually coming in clutch. All right, we got the down. Our partner is not faring much better. Ooh, they're actually using the ground run. It's gonna be a little spooky. Uh, Alright, immediately down. Close to an F first, but not quite here on Shining. Well, we're, we're close to super mode. We're very close to super mode, so. We can still win this as long as we pop super mode and, and land hits. Alright, here right we here. go. Oh, they almost made that save. The super mode has got to do your taxes. It's got okay, to do everything. Go. Get him. In, in, in. Okay, here comes oh. that first. Oh, oh. Ah. Wait. Yo. Okay, well, you gotta get oh, no. no, the CSB assist. Uh, might be strike. It might. Oh, I don't know about this. We almost have another one. We, we have to live. We have to live. We have to Come live. Come on. Come on. We have to live. Sticky tie. Oh my god, no! The CCAP run is they got Super Mode now! Oh, the incidental okay. hit! Ah. Alright, it was Me a good too. run, though. It was a good run. They went out in style. You know what, Kira? Me too. No, you can get out of this, Kira. <laughs> Freaking ROA is PS4, dude. ROA is the most cursed individual I've ever met. Oh my god. They're just hugging it out. You yeah. know, you know this is yeah. tight. All right, here we go. So we're at top three now. So three out of five for the rest of the tournament here. It's going to be Kyoji Shadow versus Kojak and Wiseman. This is the Tanabiki of Gundam. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you're that's not wrong. Fine. That's fine. Yeah, we take that. Yeah. That, that Shining actually was about to really if go we, in. Yeah, if he had lived in Pop Mode again, uh, could definitely... There was another universe that. where that yeah. worked. I also think from a strategic standpoint, I think if they had just gone for Hot Scramble instead of chasing it back... Like, I think, I, I think it legitimately, if they just tried to kill Hot Scramble twice in a row, that might have been a little bit better. But I think the timing of that burst was also a little unfortunate like yeah they were, they were down so we didn't really get as much mileage as we could have also that like we got self we got partner cut by uh by, by the uh, pressure yeah. yeah by the pressure that was and that also ended up just reducing a lot of the damage because pressure prorates super hard yeah i mean it's very difficult to coordinate that if they had been able to split target there might have been actually really good yeah because that's the issue with like 2.5 2.5 you're usually focusing on just like fighting your own individual 1v1s it's really hard to coordinate it yeah yeah hence why i feel like a comp like that you're really going all or nothing yeah, yeah. all right losers finals
We'll see how this plays out. All right. So it's looking like it's going to be so, Hot Scramble Strike Nor. I, if I was Kyo and Jishao, I would probably take this opportunity if they think that they can win this. Like, if they think they're the better players here, I would try a different team. Oh. Like, if I was them and I felt like I'd be able to get back into Grand Finals, I would try something else. Uh, or maybe just try Kushi Marasai. I legitimately think just stick with what works for you in this case. And like if there's one thing that I know about Kyo, the thing that I always see him hop out with is his Marasai. So like I feel like he should just stick with what he knows. And maybe just try to clean up a little more. I, it looks like, I mean, oh he's playing Montero again. He's going with the Montero. I guess they, I mean, it's, I suppose if they just play a lot cleaner than the Montero works. I, I don't know. I've said I've said my thoughts on that matchup. At the very least, Montero here doesn't have to be as terrified of Vernearing this time around. Yeah. Because, like, you know, yeah, there's AC and there's Railgun, but Redlock distance is way shorter this time around. So he can actually afford to move up. Yeah. All right, so we got G Shadow on Kishi. And we're, oh, that was oh. a furnace, yeah. All right, we have got some excellent movement here from G-Shadow, taking a pretty early lead. Kyo's bleeding a little bit, but G-Shadow. Nice melee. Ooh. Pops the Minoski mode, doesn't quite avoid that, though. And health, health values on both sides are starting to even up here. The trades are getting pretty consistent. Yeah, Montero getting a little bit low. Oh, G Shadow taking some incidental damage. Oh, oh, oh very well, last, very last got minute that, fastball. Oh, that's uh, wow! What an E burst! It does save his life. Oh yeah, they, without that E burst, you were dead. Yeah, but oh, yeah. just Garros the CCHB. Yeah, so nice. G Shadow with a good read. Oh, and immediately takes out the Strike yeah. Noir. G Shadow and a massive advantage yeah, here. Yeah, they're, they're really trying to take down Kushi here. At this point, I, I think it's fair to actually just attack Montero, but you see that this hot scramble just desperately trying to peel. Oh my god, Strike Noir is running for their life. If there's one thing that this suit is good at, it is not getting hit. But G Shadow has a whole other life bar, and they're so close to S first. Yeah. All right, Kyo forced to use the E there. A little late, but better than dying. Uh, and such a good cut from the partner to save Strike Noir at the last minute. Oh, All right, Kyo goes down. Here. G Shadow with the S burst, might trying to chase. Here, yeah. And that does it for game one of Losers Finals. She putting in a lot of work. Montero uh, able to live, not OC his partner. Oh. Pretty much, I feel like those two conditions, uh, if, they, if, they, if it plays out right, then they're going to win that. Yeah, it was looking a little iffy there at the start, but those two S bursts really made all the difference. Yeah, Strike Noir got caught out kind of early in the match. Took a lot of damage uh, fighting Montero. Just kind of getting caught out of position. Just need to kind of tight, tighten up spacing. So take a look at a different POV maybe here. What do we got? Uh, All right, so we got the hot scramble. scramble. Yeah, so this is Kojak hot scramble, I think. If, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Oh, gets caught on the building, but doesn't quite get the down on Kishi. Trying to play evasively here. Yep. Using the funnels, as you were saying earlier, four fast falls in order to not get called out as easily by yeah, the we, missiles. We don't have one anymore, though. It's a little dangerous here, but we got it back. Oh, yeah. All right, funnels Footballs. are back online. Using them to make themselves slightly harder to hit. But taking a lot of damage from the Montero here. Kyo actually keeping up his HP pretty consistently this oh, time. Oh, the Garo not quite working. I like the attempt, though. Whoa. Dangerous, yeah. Threading the needle. Yeah, we would like to burst, I think. But especially on Montero, if possible. But yeah, BC. Oh, my god. Oh, they were going for the funny stuff. OK. Calls out the 8B attempt. Strike and Raw in trouble. 
Oh, good block from G Shadow. We should be seeing the burst here from Hot Scramble. The chase for the CC at B. Very good use of two sub. They have three more funnels on deck ready to go for fast falls or for putting on that pressure. Okay, Montero is pretty healthy here. This is a good spot for the enemy team, but. Looking like they're double locking the Kashi here. Yeah. Leaving Montero all the room in the world to play. Nice. Oh, good punish. Saving their partner from taking that uh, that very spooky death. Okay, this is this is they're, they're behind, but there is a line here if they get Montero down. If they get Montero down and Kojak's partner, this might sound wacky. They need to hurry up and die so also, they can get a burst. If yeah, if they can get a burst, like if they can get some blocks. Very scary against this team to do so, but if they can get some blocks, like, from Montero, if they can block Montero... Oh, they're we, we super separated. Yeah. Sending the funnels to oh, Tyson to back up. We're gonna get burst, we're gonna get burst, so the question is just, are we gonna block together or are we gonna get hit? Oh, or, good or to see Okay. Let's go, that's huge! That's he's alive, he's alive, he's alive. They can actually... They actually that early oh, tag! Oh, oh, oh. We have burst! Oh, oh my god! We can win, we can win. All right, here we go, chasing after D-Sano. Oh. oh, the buildings. We get caught in Tomato Town. And here come the missiles. Yeah. I mean, I think that last gamble was pretty understandable. We went for, we tried to steal a landing there and you know, we got checked for it. No, I can completely yeah. understand the thought process and I thought it was the correct idea it was just unfortunate. It's a tough decision. It's like a 50-50 there. It's, you know, you could, they could have tried to attack Montero, get it down. I don't think they could have killed, but they could have gotten it down on Montero. And it, 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 it ultimately comes down to like trying to read which of those players is peeling and which is running. But I think the early tech kind of was dangerous play. Yeah. All right, All right Hall Scramble so taking some damage early on here. Yeah, so. We got one more shot at this. We have to win this game to keep the set going from this POV. We'll see if they can do it. All right, trying, trying to play some neutral here, but just getting called out for some Verniers, taking some incidental damage. Yeah. All right, taking a safe landing here. Called accuracy using just a little bit too much boost. Yeah, I mean, AC is a really good tool. This dude has plenty of tools to fight. This is too like a she. And Strike Noir is very healthy right now, so it just comes down to, like, who's making more mistakes, really. And they've really kind of divided off into their own 1v1s, but Hot Scramble just having so much trouble getting in against G-Shadow. Yeah, I mean, she can be really safe, right? It, you're just jumping around and omni over and over again because of CSB, so... Definitely makes up for the suit's inherent lack of boost compared to most of yeah. the 3Ks. And our Strike Noir is starting to bleed. That's not a good sign. We do land a clutch CSB hit there, though, so Montero is low. But it's looking like our first set of bursts should be coming up here in a second. Yeah, if we can get... Almost. If you, they yeah, got the like burst the, off the, the team fire. damage there is actually kind of okay, because if we get a block, we get, like, a, a, a good block here. Or, or like, maybe two hits. Yeah, a block or like one AC and like you have burst essentially. It's, it's scary to block against this dude, so like you can't really. Oh, that funnel on the up, the up funnel there was a little unfortunate. Oh my god, they just cannot call out this movement. Oh, the building. Oh my gosh, shout out to Tomato Town. Yeah, they're oh, getting okay, but F burst is online, yeah. let's go. Now, if they use it at the right spot here, this can be big. If they got Montero. Using Montero's the F first right to escape there. the Montero. Got him. Oh, they can got the call up, but they get it. the cup of the partner. Oh, they don't get the OC, but you know what? This is still okay if they pressure Montero here. I think he's dead, right? Oh, yeah. this is big. That burst okay. was huge for Kojak's team. The, the, he, oh, the, the Strike the Noir has to be super careful. The Strike Noir has to stay at this health point. Like, cannot take any more damage. All right, no funnels for Oki available. Hot Scramble okay, finally yeah. goes down, but they're so close Good to burst. anchors away, yes, right. Oh no, got caught up by the oh, Garrow. Oh no. That's such a clutch from G-Shadow, the Garrow. Oh, swapping over to the Montero. Yeah, Runs but, into the BC, oh, that is tragic. Strike Wars by himself. Strike Wars might be dead here. Oh. Uh, he's alive, he's trying to help. He's got his, they have to close out on the Montero here. They, the yeah, BC, BC call out on the CCAB. That's so smart for Kyo. 
using the super to take them out of the game. Yeah. And Stragnor is just by themselves and cannot keep Kashi off of them. BC, it's a good move. <sighs> I actually, yeah, I mean, I, I think, I don't know if, I think he just got a little greedy there and was just hoping, like, maybe this Montero BC, like, won't win, but I think you really got to, like, fence it, basically, that matchup. You or, have to be able to call it out. BC yeah, is such a good self-defense tool. Side, side sub, and also just if you have enough distance, you can call out with BC, I think, if you time it right. You can call it out with BC. Yeah. Um, most of the time, really, just I think side well placed is, fast falls. Yeah. Side well, sub is like what you need sub. to do. Yeah. Oh, all right, that was a crazy game. So we've only got one match left, guys. We've got grand finals coming up. But before that, we're going to go to a quick one minute break, and uh, then we'll come back to the action. So, you know, see you guys after the break, and then, you know, we'll hump, jump back into some amazing uh, Gundam grand finals. All right. Yeah. <laughs> let me uh, let us know when we're live. Yeah. When we're going live. Yeah. Well, I feel like I've just been given like okay. a million dollars. Oh. Looks like we are back. So welcome back, guys. We are ready to jump into our grand finals here. Frosty Faustings 2023. It's day zero here. <laughs> We've got zero. Gundam uh, grand final. So you know, tell your friends. Jump in here. Uh, let's uh, send off the game tonight with a bang. All of my fellow new types in chat, if you would, please give me your energy for one <laughs> last game, because this game is going to be good. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, we already saw these two play in winner's finals, so, um, you know, we've got a lot of contacts going into this match. It was pretty one-sided. ROA, J.U. doing pretty well on the... It looked like G-Shadow and Kyo were having difficulties figuring out how to crack the comp. Um, you know, just Penelope, GPO3. It's uh, it's hard to outweight that team, but it's hard to aggress on that team. So No, it's just you have to play such a grindy game when you're dealing with that. And, like, I feel like there's a lot of other suits that can kind of just, like, Deal with it a bit better. Like, you have suits like Reborns, for instance, where they can just kind of throw a bunch of really obnoxious stuff towards you yeah. and force them to, and, and basically just throw constant movement checks at them. Hot yeah. Scramble kind of has that, but not I, as much. I, if this is G Shadow and Hot Scramble, I like this too. Ooh. Um, I, th I, think, I think this can work. Yeah. Uh, unless this was not. Oh, maybe that was our way or. Oh, I think this is Jay's PS4 with the. Uh, with the, we have to protect the sound, yeah. Man, shout out to Kojak's PS4. Oh no, I think I think that was G Shadow, yeah. All right. I want to say I would like to see the hot scramble. I definitely think it is a suit that can make the. Oh, never mind. No, he's, no. he's sticking on. Stick on what he knows. Yeah. It. Yeah, if he's playing Kasi, I mean, I think he should just. I think I think Kyo should just play GPO three as well. Does Kyo have a GPO three? Uh, I don't know. I mean, everyone has a GPO three if they want to have one. I mean, that's fair. Everyone's got a soul bad guy, so I think GPO three would get, be a good pick here. I have confidence. I think in I, I think I kind of like Darkhound too here actually. Darkhound would actually be an amazing pick here. Because when I you're think talking you've... grindy games, Dark Hound. Well, I think it's more like, I, I think if you pick Dark Hound, you're trying to aggress on GPO3, and it could lead to some good stuff. Yeah. 
Oh, are we going to see Stragnor? Like, I actually think, I think G Shadows and Kyo should try and 1v1. That's what I would do, I think. Oh, we're going back to the Montero. I think, I, I, I actually, yeah, I don't think they're going to play it, but I kind of like Dark Hound here, actually. I like Dark Hound and then you 1v1. Yeah, Dark Hound is just one of those suits where they can just, like, once they get in, it's so difficult to hit them. Well, like, Their self-defense is so strong. I think, it, I think a good strategy would be to pick Dark Hound and then just mark GPO3. You don't need to hit him. You just need you to knock a hit. Yeah. yeah, you just, like, literally just chase him because GPO3's angle game is kind of awkward. Yeah. And you just need to stop him from, like, putting out, like, N-Sub and CSA on the team. And then just, just let your partner 1v1 Penelope. I think that's fine. I think that that would definitely be a very good way to approach it because it's like you're not going to hit Dark Hound, and he can literally just spend the entire game just harassing you, being like, hey, hey, yeah. hey, what's up? Yeah, Kyo, Kyo definitely has a reason to play Montero. I don't know. I don't entirely understand the logic, um, but, you know. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll see. He's, he's, he's had some time to think on it. Like, we saw it worked out really well in the previous match. But it's a very different kind of comp, you know? Yeah. Like, they're, they're not aggressing on you. You're not going to BC, you know, these you can't be, Yeah, you're not going to BC Penelope. You're not going to BC uh, GPO3. Like, yeah. there is no CCAP. There is no Tooth Fairy. Santa Claus isn't real. Yeah. You can't CC it. You, you can't BC a missile. I mean, it's true. If he does land the the gra the sub combo like if he lands the infinite basically like then then well first of all I don't even see him practicing it so I don't think so but if he did then I was they can, watching him practice it earlier then, okay then they can isolate like they can isolate that way I think there's so many better ways to isolate it though one two three four uh, uh. God that does so much damage. I actually think it does more damage if you do two hit step sub three hits. <laughs> Actually, instead of BC three hit step, two hit. I think I think two and then three does more damage, but I could be wrong. Gotcha. All right. So they've done their button checks. So it seems. Yep. It. I think this is what we're doing. I'm gonna watch this uh, Montero POV. Let's see if he's. I want to see what adjustments some. he's made. Yeah. But we've gotten time to make some adjustments and see if we can apply them here. There we go. All right. Grand like, finals. Get hype. Yo. Ladies and gentlemen, non-binary pals, here we go. And so, obviously, Kyo and G Shadow, they, they got the loser's disadvantage here. I'll get hit by N-Sub. That's <laughs> a good good start to things. Great start. You just you just immediately run into the minefield. Oh, he really wants to just kind of double lock. Okay, no. We're, we're trying to mark GPO3 here. Ah, uh, and just... They end up burnering and just getting duffed by CSAs. Yeah, that's the thing about the sub is uh, it does make you stand still for a while. So you gotta really can't really gotta fire unless spots. they're not looking at you, basically, or they're not actually attacking you. Ooh, almost looked like some spooky friendly fire there for a yeah. second on the side of Montero. But like, you know, this is fine. I think just marking GPO three here works okay. But the team game, like, that's where I'm starting to feel like I don't think this. As soon as it gets the team game, like our Montero is just getting rubbed oh. up. Uh, Montero probably going to have to front here yet again, you know. Yeah, Kyo is just taking so much damage yeah. just by existing. We should get a sub here. Oh, no, nope, never mind. I think here. Oh, he's too afraid oh, of Oh, force to use their sense. boost and just ends yeah. up taking a butt ton of damage here. Force the block, gains a little bit of more burst. I mean, versus Penelope, I don't think she has any problem. Like, it's fine. Look at him go. Yeah, Yo, big damage swing here. ROA has no pants for the next little bit. Kill letting their partner die and just sitting on a lot of E-Burst right now. He's, uh, he hasn't landed a single sub yet this match. All right, here like, we go. We're literally worse than RX-78 right now, like, as a suit. All right, here we yeah. go. And GPO3 is actually looking pretty low here. We get the spawn. BC? Yeah, BC, but does he have counterplay? Oh, not quite. Does the E-Burst uh, the, save the, them? It does. It does save him. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, good evasion there. Q 
kill managing to hold on yeah. and then immediately gets duffed by GPO3 main. This is a pretty done game, but once again, they do, if, if they kill JU, they can win. Oh, nope. but JU with a very clutch E burst to keep the momentum going. Oh, he's just ignoring oh. you. JU got to actually pay attention here because he's the wing con. He's the wing con. Bro, you're going to oh, you're gonna no. hand them a win like this. JU, what are you doing? All right, yeah, and JU no longer has a right, burst to a, work a with. Land. Oh, they can win now. Oh, and JU oh, no, is just Jay trying to get some on. height. Oh, my God, we missed the cut. Oh, and the burst, E burst, burst is online. He's alive. Oh my god, He's we got double straight. burst going. They're gonna go for J. They're going for Odysseus. They oh won. My god. Oh my god. Oh. Uh. Oh. Sometimes you win because you win, and sometimes you win because the other person loses, and you hate to see it. That was a game. That was definitely a game. Check out uh, maybe another POV in this game here. What do we got? <laughs> it's just uh. All right, what is, what is this? All right, let's take a look at our ways POV here. Yeah, that game was coming down relatively even, and then just right at the end, that one blunder. Cost Jay's team a lot. It was only the first game. I mean, Jay wasn't even looking at him. This thing, like, I, you're you're literally the win condition. That he just for some reason he didn't look at Montero at all. Got hit from free. Yep, our way very patiently respecting. Cannot get the cut, unfortunately. Oh, uh, doesn't yeah. quite manage to get away from G Shadow there. Takes a little bit of damage, but just returns that damage in kind. Oh, good evasion. Oh, no. Oh, they're chasing. All right. I think uh, Jay is going to have to take this first life. I think uh, our way knows it. Yeah. That actually kind of saved him. Like, Ooh. I think he was about to get hit by that Garrow, maybe. But. All right. Good evasion here from our way. Our way just trying to wait out this S burst. Gets hit a little bit, but S burst should be over. Uh -oh. The pants are off. I think they got this. Yeah. Oh, good punish on that Vernier. All right, ROA now just kind of waiting out, getting their pants back. Good bait on the BC, oh, forcing the, the burst out. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, it's so unfortunate. We still have burst though, so I guess they can take. The, technically, he can keep this first life. If, yeah, just. Calmly overheat punish. Oh, oh I thought he was gonna block that. This might be a little spooky. Yeah, but he, he has skirt on again. But they, they want the OC, I think. Uh, he knows it too. Our way is just gonna give Jay the, the life, I think. But yeah. Yeah, at this point, he they almost be, have full he burst. He might be forced to burst here, not to die. Wow! Oh, oh my god, no! Uh, wow, he's just throwing? They want to play another threaded fight set. Oh, Jesus Christ! He has a burst, he has a burst. Uh, what, is the, what, is the, what is going on? Uh, what is going on? Is, is this collusion? Are they, are I they don't know. ROA has to run for their life. They have full burst on deck. Oh my god. Sadly, they might still win this because Montero's very low here. Yeah, he Montero's definitely the win condition for them he, here. Oh, I see, I see. He wants skirt and then burst. Oh, there it's yeah, it! I can't. I can't. <laughs> We got the cleanup! The amount of greed. Oh. And just like that, we're tied up 1 1. The amount of greed. <laughs> oh. The greed was so real there. I was so scared. I was so scared. Yeah, but the thing is, when you burst, you accelerate the recharge on it anyways. So you like, he could have burst it and it had skirt in like a second. <laughs> I have never seen that Penelope melee go. Oh, we're back to the Marasai. Okay. Shout outs to Jared. Okay, so I didn't get to actually see Marasai last time, so we're going to watch the Marasai. For Cole, for Cole. Oh, uh, that's not. There we go. This is for you, Cole. So, we all we know is that this didn't work last time, so we're, we're going to see what went wrong. Or maybe it'll go right. 
Who knows? Maybe if they can just chuck enough stuff and just conserve enough boost, that can make all the difference if they play it just slightly safer. Oh, calls out that landing punish. Just playing a little too close to Penelope. Arway's awareness just sky high. All right. No, I, I really disagree, Sif. Uh, he only didn't die there because the enemy like made like three mistakes in a row. Like <laughs> the the, la the lack of the lack of verse there like almost cost him the game. Yeah, Kyo just trying to dance right on the edge of Ed of Redlock. Yeah. But just uh, got duffed there by GPO three. Ta both both players are actually taking a lot of damage in this game. Trades not really working out evenly. G Shadow yeah, with the magic number. Remember that that was also an F Esper, so you have a lot of time. It's not like you're gonna waste your Esper's by popping it into and regenerating skirt. Like even if even if he had popped es Esper's early, he would have still had a good like you know seven seconds of of skirted. Oh, what is going on? Oh my God, there's a lot going on there. Jeyu used a lot of resources there on Oki. Very low here. This is a good spot for uh, Kyo to try and be the maybe make something happen. Like they're they're technically ahead here. Are we gonna see a burst on this first life? You think? I mean, it's an E burst, so I mean, I think he's gonna stomp and then you know E burst if he gets hit. But that's, I mean, at 80, it's pretty bad no matter no matter what, right? So I mean, he could just hold it, I guess. It doesn't doesn't really matter. It's still gonna be like one burst either way, right? All right, they're just trying to chase after Ju here, get that one little love tap that they need. They're spending the burst. Good they block from Ju. Oh my god! They don't get the okay, okay. Oh, and they got the eight B. Let's go. All right, now they pressure Ju. All right, Ju is the win con here. Now Marsai is in such a good spot. Now we have a life. Like we can just afford to play really far up here and just make 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 GPO3 fear for his life the whole game, basically. Yeah, Kyo and G-Shadow have a lot to play with here. Got him. Oh, they got the shark kick. That's fine. We have Bates a lot of the E-burst. Uh, yeah. Nice. That was so much cleaner. Yeah. Kyo definitely making some big adjustments here. All right. That worked out pretty well. Like, just do that more, I think. Just apply Ooh. pressure. Just apply pressure on GPO3, basically. I can feel something in the winds. I can feel like we might get that reset. Oh, they're, they're confirming the score. 2-1 them, I think. We'll see. All right, let's go. All right. Yeah, two, it's 2-1 two Kyo and G Shadow, yeah. Oh, we got a oh, big yeah, change Dark here, Dark Hound. Um, I don't like this very much because if even if Kyo and G Shadow lose this match, then they get to swap and fight, they have to fight Dark Hound, and then they can just play whatever they want there. They can play Montero, actually, if they want. Yeah, to Montero into Dark Hound, I don't think would be too bad of an idea. This is fine, though. So I've seen Ju's Dark Hound and it's pretty solid. Well, certainly if the problem is that Ju's dying, then yeah, hopefully they can just try and win it with, with Dark Hound. Yeah, that's definitely one way to fix it. And so far, you know, Ju's living. Nice. Oh, wow. good confirmed. That's a lot of damage on ROA. And Kyo has not even taken one hit yet. Go is putting a lot of pressure, making it hard for the enemy team. But uh, G Shadow at 88. First oh play. my God! Still alive here. Kyo's playing out of his mind here. Manages to get the trade sequence to get the down on ROA. Oh, that's an overheat. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh I thought this, that was gonna be a punish. I got real excited reset. there for a second. Okay, we eventually get the down here. All right, here's the E-burst. Getting the burst at an actual decent health value this time. Oh. Ooh, just stabs our yeah, way in the back. Everywhere. Everyone getting a boot to the head tonight. Nice. Boot to the head, boot to the head. And Kyo still, he's still got another life after this. 
such a good spot to be in here. G Shadow has a burst on deck, I think, too. So. Oh, boot to the head! Boot to the head! Let's go! It's 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 pretty over here. Like I, I don't really know how they're gonna come back, but somehow people keep doing insane things, and then we. It still can become anyone's game, but that's it. Oh god! And it just calls out the Vernier from our way. Kyo played that so well, so well. Yeah. Okay. So bracket reset. Oh god! I can feel the winds are changing. I don't think that the Dark Hound swap worked, but you know, it. It's hard to say. It's only a couple games, so. Yeah, there's still plenty of room for adjustment. Oh, Destiny. Oh, this makes sense. This this is the suit that ROA has been playing for so long. All right, Destiny GPO3. Hmm. Hmm. This could be interesting. I think this is going to be really interesting. I think that could work. Let's let let's uh like check a different POV maybe here. Let, let's take a look at G Shadow because yeah. So now G Shadow is gonna be handling this Destiny swap. Let's see how this plays out. Like Arwe has to get in now. He's he's not playing the long game anymore. Yeah, Arwe now at this point, the onus is on him to really make the the aggression work. Yeah, oh, and that's Arwe already an early a stun. Yeah, Arwe is almost taking almost 50%. Yeah, but uh, Kyo is taking damage. Kyo, Kyo fronting. Ooh. The win condition here might just be to kill Kyo three times. Oh, the football. Oh. Uh, right, that was GPO3 missiles actually saved him. <laughs> football. Uh, here comes Destiny on the aggression. Gets a knockdown on Arwe. Going straight for his partner. Are we just trying to protect? But you know, uh, are we gotta play back here? All right. Yeah, oh my, are we with made. the wings of light? G Shadow popping Minovsky particles. Nice, Garrow. Good, uh, Garrow. We have, we have burst too. We have burst too. I think we popped it. All right, yeah. here comes the S burst yeah, with Minovsky mode. G Shadow and I are in sync. <laughs> we gotta live here though. We gotta, we gotta do some stuff. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that was like max range. That's a kill. Is he going for Garrow here? Oh, wow. oh, the melee trade! Yeah, he's all over. He wants to die first. Like, we're just going in. Okay. All right, Kyo looking not so healthy right now. Definitely kind of has to hang back here for a bit. Let the front do front things. What's going on here, Destiny? Oh, not quite. I don't think yeah. Arwe having to play super careful here. This is on their last life. No, no. Well, oh okay. my god, the mess from Jeyu. Let's go. We have a burst, though. The, Arwe looking to clean it up here. There's a burst coming from Destiny pretty soon. I think he might be winning for a, count, a burst. He might be trying to counter burst this. this yep. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, here we go. Wings of Light to try to get away There's from a, the S burst. A Destiny burst coming here. Yep, here it is. Unable to catch the GPO3. We're really trying here. Ooh, oh, they, that's, that's a lot of damage. They're really greedy. That was really greedy. Burst running out. Oh my oh, god, you lost. you lost. You lost. You lost. You lost. You wake up meleeed. You, you, you just actually threw. Yeah. Ooh. That was definitely the greediest, uh, the greediest choice there. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That was that was a bit messy at the end. Yeah. Yeah, there was definitely just that was just kind of a slobber knocker right at the end. All right, let's uh let's take a look at the Destiny POV. I think. Yeah. The ROA can adjust. Right in there, yep. Oh, just huge damage early on here. Gonna try to set up the Oki. Got him. Good chase with the boomerangs and the Destiny Finger. Big damage. Oh, and their partner there. Yep, pushing the Oki here. 
wings. Oh, and then again, these Oki sequences are paying off so well. Hill kind of messes up the confirm there, but that's fine. Yeah, because she's big body also does kind of make it annoying versus Boomerang. So it's, it's noticeable. Oh, they're just going to go for the overcost here? Okay, Kyo manages to get away. I mean, it doesn't really matter who they hit, actually, at this point. They're just getting tons of value. Yeah. Got him. Wow. Oh, what a stun shot! Oh, the cut. Nice cut from Kyo. There's the burst, aggressing on his partner. All right, G Shadow's trying to make something happen here, but oh, Kyo says no. Yeah, while wow, Kyo hitting him down. What? The Destiny finger on this Wake Up! Raw palm? You really? Melee? Not gonna reach, but we have burst here. Destiny finger again! We're gonna live I think it's, it's, Oh, wow. Okay. Oh my god, the greed from ROA is real, but it is working out so well in these struggle situations. Here comes the S burst! Still alive. All right, waving this out as long as he can. Oh my god. Oh my god, the this sub, and they get the down. This Esper's running out here, but we're going. Lands up, wings melee. Okay, that was oh. speed run. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. So this time, ROA is like, all right, let me just kill everybody, I guess. ROA has woken up. The beast is unleashed. That's some good depth of field. Oh. Pretty, pretty <laughs> big ground there for our way. Kind of everybody there. God, that's that's such a big change up to go from this grindy, grindy game that they've been playing for two sets, and then all of a sudden just deciding, you know what? I am just going to play Okizeme. You just got to deal with it. It was a really good start to the round, actually. Uh, G Shadow kind of looked away for one second and let our way kind of jump into his into his zone. Yeah. Then got a like fast knockdown. Then kind of started bullying, and then they, they got into that hill situation where they both got land. So it was yeah. just really good. Yeah. Does look like we might be seeing a suit swap, though. We seeing a Rex? So let me let me take a look at that again. Oh, we were seeing a Rex. Yeah, so it looks like we do have a Rex coming up. Rex, definitely, I think, a good pick into this. Lots of very good self-defense, very good movement options. I hope that if Rex wins, that ROA switches back to Penelope. That would be funny. That would be very funny. No, no, no. No one, no one will ever say Tail is bad. Tail is, Tail is broken. Tail is whack. All right. Let's see it. So Marseille Rex, I like this team. Like, here, if G Shadow is really healthy, he can play back for Marsai, and that, that works out kind of okay as like a plan B. Uh, not looking at Destiny though, that's, Ooh, that's I don't know yeah. about that one. We, we haven't done anything. Destiny is clearly broken. I'm not saying this just to piss Mahoko off. <laughs> Eating the full Garo, that's a really nice Garo from Jayu though. Jayu on point. Tail, what the? Oh my god, Tail. Good blocks. Just trying to live as long as they can. We got the boomerangs. Nice defense from Jayu. Here comes a Destiny trying to peel off Jayu. Can he live? No, Arway's right there. Gets stunned, though, from Kyo. Kyo with the good coverage. Probably have to actually look at Destiny for once here. Boomerangs, oh, they're trying to connect. get the boomerangs. Yeah. This is going to be gonna... big damage. I, uh, oh, this no, Miss doesn't OTG. get the kill. But we get this, I think. Oh, that's big. Okay. Ooh. okay. All right, Arway's <laughs> bursting at low health. Trying to take advantage of a 2v1 situation. Oh, no, Arway. This S burst. They just, oh, they melee oh, into the no. Destiny Finger, oh. but then they thought it burst. I think that was J.U.'s main into oh. tail. I'm pretty sure that was a friendly fire. Like, J.U. actually ruined that so badly. Oh, you're not cutting this. Oh, my God. We're traveling 500 miles, baby. Oh, nice CSB. What a CSB. The awareness from ROA. This is so chaotic. g Shao in the middle of everything here. Oh my god. It's. Oh my god! Jay Jay with the wake up AP! What a god! Alright, and G Shadow now, he has a burst at 43. Here oh. comes Wings of Light! This is do or die! Oh, but the suit. What the? Oh, that you, you, have to, you, you have to be, you have to be, bro. Oh my god, oh. The he misses the Did get the down! He's alive, he's alive, he has burst, he's gonna S pop burst, it. S burst, S burst! Alright, they get the down on Jayu! Oh One no! Chance. They got a cut! They got the cut, they but it's not enough! <laughs> Oh my god. The pop off, yeah, show it to the camera. Yeah! And our way into oh you! Are your frosty foustings? Mobile suit gun to maxi boost on! 
champions! Yeah. I thought you oh. Oh. <laughs> That was a set! Wings of light though. Kind of cheap. A little bit. <laughs> kind, kind of, kind of be better than tail maybe. <laughs> kind of pack it up for Rex. Just that YouTube thumbnail. Wings of light. Bad. <laughs> All right. So Ju and Roa take Frosty Fest 2023. Very back and forth set. A lot really to dig into and sink your teeth into in that grand finals. Actually, a lot, a lot of interesting stuff. A lot of suit choices. Suit swaps. Uh, both both teams really played a lot of games. We got our way. Oh my dude! <laughs> I'm so proud of you, dude. We got our way with the big dubs. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> They're all saying Wings of Light sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wings of Light. Yeah. Pretty good move. It's like okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, again, if you like the content, uh, give the channel a follow. And, for real. Uh, stay tuned for, like, more stuff throughout the weekend, you know. I don't know if we got anything else tonight. No, yeah, that's going to be it for us. I think we're all petered out here. It's been a long run of just pure Gundam. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate you guys tuning in. For real, good. it's been absolutely <laughs> fantastic. I'm so happy that uh, I had the opportunity to do this with you, Brett. This has yeah. been an absolute blast. Yeah, great games, great way to start off the weekend. I'm um, ready to keep playing more Gundam throughout the weekend and have a good time here. So uh, I think we got more stuff coming up uh, tomorrow. Well, we got like on other channels, uh, we've got KOF 2K. Uh, and we've got Injustice, but I think we're going to wrap it up here. Oh, KOF is done. Is oh. there anything going on? I mean, there's tomorrow. Yeah, all right. I guess today's done. Yeah. I, I literally have no idea what time it is. Oh, it's 11.30. Okay, yeah. Whew. Yeah, so tomorrow uh, we've got a lot of stuff uh, for you guys. So, I mean, we just got tons of games here. We've got DOA well, like on the side tournaments. We've got DOA, Alpha 2. We've got Dive Kick, Chaos Code, DFCI, Soku, Pokken. Uh We've also got Kohime. I'm, I'm going to be probably running or commentating that. So nice. tune into that. Rumblefish, Puyotet, VF5, USF4, Windjammers 2, and JoJo's ASB Top 8. Yo, shout out to JoJo's ASB. Yeah. So the on best this, game. Th this channel, all the stuff I mentioned after Pokken is going to be on this channel. So we're starting off with DOA, and that's at 10 a.m. on this channel. Whew. So, you know, come come watch that stuff. Is It's going to be good. Yeah. And I think that's going to be it. I think uh, I think it's a, it's been a good run. I'm going to I think we should wrap it up and let everyone go home cuz <laughs> I think uh It's late. I got here. 10 a.m. pools. Yeah. yeah, thanks for watching guys, but uh, you know, we'll see you guys on the next one. So, I've been Brett. This is I'm Red Muffler Man. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow maybe it's some, somewhere, but thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.